right. Sunday, Monday. Right. We're gonna switch. Is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. I was I'm ready. Born ready. I bought a pack or something. <gasps> Wait, I don't have something to drink. I'm not ready. Oh. Actually, Go let me put my drinks in the fridge. I, no, yeah, I'm fine. Right. I'm not drinking. That's Marley. We already switched. Okay. It's fine. Already I'll just here. Be too late. We're here on fire dice. This we sure are. Got I made it. Mr. I have to see Savage sleep Bear. He's joined us in person. And for this horrible setup, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. We got it working. We did. That's, that's all that matters. In under an hour, too. Hello, Kung Fu Buffalo. I'm okay with talking to people in chat before we start. Yeah. yeah. It's usually how it goes for Weird the savages. Well. Yeah. Hello, anyone filing in? Hello, everybody. All right. Are we just jumping into it? Yep. Okay. Last time on Fighter Dice, Gorik had an arcane bug ripped out of his face by a very lovely companion that the party has gamed. Um, Rin decided that everything was awful and he needed yeah. to hex off any any bad juju that was coming their way, but Ramsey wasn't having... <gasps> oh, he no! He was rudely interrupted. He was rudely interrupted out of his ritual. Don't <laughs> worry about uh, it. This is bad. Uh -oh. uh, all of your... All of your camps are switched. I didn't oh, I didn't oh, see Oh, they that. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me. I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving. I am moving i Please excuse the technical difficulties of being... She's gonna she get a technical really difficulty quick, yeah. thing as um, it starts playing. Oh, oh, you moved me before I could fly. Um, <laughs> oh, I was going to continue to BRB, but you're pretty much done. I think um, the funny thing is you should have just been like, you guys are now each other's characters. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, 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 no or RP? Switch. No, Please. they're not. <laughs> <laughs> RP. Oh. Okay. Hi, welcome to Chili's. All right. Um, Where were we? Uh, yes, so... <laughs> Um, the group has decided to move on. Uh, Jumper tried to prove to you that there was no other magic in the area, but not feeling safe anywhere, Ramsey decided he was going to continue. We made a lot of noise. Yeah. Yep. Um, so the party has come and collected Nisim and hmm. are taking off. All he right. did an excellent job scouting uh, for us. Is Jumper, like, do we have some distance between us? Doesn't she jump in the trees? I don't I recall. Think she, I think she I'm pretty still, sure she's, she's running with us right yeah, now. Yeah, she's traveling yeah. with you guys. Okay. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Never mind, man. I'm not going to do this with you. Okay. I'm still getting dragged by the shirt by my memory. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm more like pushing. Yeah, that's fair. That's Ramsey's right. version of saving somebody is just hauling them off. It's just <laughs> grab them and just move them somewhere else. Like, I need to get you out of here. Yeah. Um. Is there? I don't know. In the dark of a forest, would I be be able to see five feet in front of me? Um. There's I like it's a large moon, so there's like decent oh, okay. patches of dim light, but it's not amazing. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to make sure we're not being followed. I right, guess. Roll a perception check. Please be good. Okay. I mean, 15 for the first roll of the day. Okay. Uh, you don't believe there's anything behind you. Okay. Here, I need to grab some more. Okay. Uh -oh. um, hopefully, we've made it a good distance away from the fire, and I'll try to like. Uh, Ramsey Damn. did stamp out the fire, at least. Huh? What? Ramsey stamped out the fire. Yeah. Still, I, at least, like, a good distance away. Like, how far did you want to get away? Like, a quarter mile? Yeah. Yeah. So, I would just try and, like, hand them down. Make sure we stop and we can talk about what just happened. Yeah, I want to move away and be keeping a very, very close eye out as we're moving away. I, uh, I'm going like, to be yeah. kind of next to Jumper, kind of like in between her and the party. Sentinel. Yeah. Um, okay. I guess I'd probably be in front, I guess. 
or Boy, near the all front. The craziness. Yeah, because I was like, a, I was in front of all you guys to begin with, but then I get, I don't know. I'm guessing I saw it going down. As really? we're walking, well, we You're walked probably, like, you leading like, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you could have just been like, "What? Oh, we right. need to move." <laughs> <laughs> like, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm just following you guys, you know. Being that Ramsey gonna... is leading, Jumper's probably near him. So then Sarah's just, just like that, like corner yeah. behind, just like nah. Like right yeah. Right, yeah, trying to submit yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna try to free my my shirt from the grip of Ramsey. Um, not exactly like freaking out or anything anymore, but uh, just kind of like dust it back off. <laughs> if he's still walking with us, I'll let he, him go. He's walking with you, yeah. He's, it he's, doesn't feel like you're like, oh, let go of me. No, no, no. He's, In which yeah, case I would not let go. Right. Yeah, but we, yeah, if you're just like, all right, all right. He's, yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm chill, basically, is, is more or less what he's trying to translate. And he'll take a second and he'll mutter a couple words and heal up the, uh, the cut on his hand. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, just aesthetically. Helpful. Yeah, well, I actually gave myself two points of damage for it, so I'm just going to say that uh, I heal that. Well, I'm going to roll my d4. Actually, I think my mod, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But yes, yeah, I heal it back, so. <laughs> uh, I did damage to myself, and I healed yeah, it. Yeah, it, it was just in the moment. It was thematic, mm -hmm. but. Necessary for your superstitions. Right, right. Yeah, he, he kind of panicked there for a minute. So yes, uh, I am now walking with the party, doing my best to not cause any more of a scene than I already have. Um, are we able to get there? Get to yeah, where? there's nothing okay. in front of you. Um, I will say Jumper is kind of towards the front because she has like excellent dark vision and kind of like calls a warning to you when there's a fallen log or like a hole or something like that. Okay. So she's kind of guiding the dark a little bit. How you feeling, Gorik? Gorik? He looks up at you and, uh... No, it's good. I... I... I had a... a, a bug on my brain. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, are we stopping? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Setting and, uh, up the camp. Real quick. He, re he reaches. He reaches down in his his uh, pouch, grabs a flask, and starts starts to drink his sorrows away, or at least his confusions and horrors attempting to. Um, Jumper will kind of turn toward Gorik a little bit and want to make sure you never have one again. I would. <laughs> uh. I, that would be, that would be amazing. If you could, if you could, uh. She's gonna hold cool. up one of her, like, clawed fingers and be like, it's gonna hurt a bit, but you won't have one again. I, I gotta make a that. symbol. I gotta make a symbol on the back. Oh. Inside the head, though? Uh, no, it's just on the skin. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Mm, can you. I'll, uh, this is, I'm gonna chime in and be like, well, e I don't know how to explain how I know this, but she's part celestial and part changeling. Changeling? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so you're, you're saying a changeling wants to make a symbol on my, on my neck? But she's not bad. <laughs> but we just met her. <clears throat> she's done nothing but help us. I'll I'll go before you. Motioning to jump her the Okay. Um she'll come behind you and she'll like pick up your hair and at like the very base of like where your hair grows. Yeah. Sorry. And she's going to carve like an eyeball shape. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna stand and then, kind of like um, a slit between like between the points, like it's a closed eye. Can I um, do a check to see if I recognize it in any way, shape? Um, I, you can do an Arcana check. Uh, I'm gonna step back at this point and be like, <laughs> I don't know what's going wow. on. 
Okay. Uh, um, that's what I thought. That is a eighteen seventeen. It is. You don't know exactly what, but it does seem some like some anti warding. An anti ward. Well, like. Or a warding spell. An anti arcana yeah, like ward. ward. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so it is, it is some spell. kind of protection <laughs> ward. Okay. In that no case, it, as I recognize it, and I'm like, yeah. all right. Or anti Give me now. Alright, and she'll come over and she'll do the same. And she does draw a bit of blood because it's got a scar up to mm -hmm. stay there. And she's gonna look at Ramsey and Rin and Nisum and be like, eh. No thanks. <laughs> no. I'll I'll be like, I don't know what's going on. Um <laughs> But I think I'm good. Nisum? Neither do we. <laughs> I'll 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 take take Sarasha, take his ear and say, uh if we end up as arcane thralls, this is on ye. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. I'll write that one down. Dude, right? <laughs> write that one back. <laughs> can I make a check on it as well? I know he just made a check, but I yeah. want to see if I can do any better. Um, it didn't roll bad or anything, but like... Just a Ramsey can reassure himself. <laughs> nope, that one. <laughs> You've never seen that kind of warding. Can I do the thing where I look at Gorix and what's mine say? Wait, what's mine say? Dune. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. I... Anyway. Um. Thank you, Jumper. I. I didn't have one, but I don't want one. Whatever that was. It's not a good thing to have. Um, and she'll turn around and she'll pick up her black hair and show that she's got one. It doesn't match up really well on her the back of her neck because she did it to herself. Uh -huh. But Figures. she's got one too. It's like okay. yeah, doing it in the mirror almost, like you're trying to. Yeah. I'll like, I'll look over at at, at uh, Sriracha and I'll be like, wait, get what? Um, there. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't see it, but the reason we just got these... Uh, um, nothing, nothing, lads. Nothing, hmm. lads. Nothing. nothing. I, I strongly recommend it, but... <laughs> well, I, I guess, I, I guess if it's nothing, I think I'll keep, I'll keep it from being... You should scarred, probably but... get one, though. <laughs> just to be nothing. safe, I mean... Well, you're part of the group, get a tattoo. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It'll only be on there for the rest of I, the I guess I'll look at everyone and be like, is everyone getting one? No. no. That was too no. <laughs> <laughs> it's split half and half right I'll stick saying, with the guy that might really take my hand. So. <laughs> it's like equally divided too, because three of them have it and three of them don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So... Well, I mean, it looks like a closed eye, and our enemies have open eyes, so I'm pretty on board with it right now. I mean, with yeah. Gorak's Arcana check, too, he doesn't know when it stops, but it definitely stops something. Yeah. So. Worst case scenario, we cut them off later. Or burn no, wait, them off. I think the campaigns are bleeding. Shut up. The... Um. <laughs> yes, they worked, yes, they are rolling. Before. <laughs> it was uh, before. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, uh, I feel like I did something first. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we can't. We still can't see or hear the raiding party. Okay. Uh, no, not from here. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm actually. I'm gonna ask Jumper. Uh, if she sees anyone. Okay. She um, like things better than me. Yeah. Okay. So she's gonna. All okay. right. And she's gonna jump. Now for a minute. Um. Yes, dude. Good so call. she she's comes back down. She, well, she comes back down. She's tucked in a ball. Like she was gone for a while too. Yeah. And more than that, she was gone for like one Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> she was up there for a minute. Yeah. What's a Mississippi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like Arkansas. You don't want to go there. Um. <laughs> So after like actually like a couple minutes, 
she lands back down, and she does that thing where she tucks into a ball and makes no noise when she lands. Okay, so I'm gonna get up real close to her as quietly as I can move, and also tuck into a ball, and ask her what she saw. There's a party uh, up ahead. It looks like a guard, though. They're not like the other ones we saw when they were scattered and looking for food. They're posted up. There's um, eight of them there. They're all wearing heavy black garb instead of the usual. And it looks like they're hiding out in the hills, waiting for somebody to follow. We could skirt past them and get to the raiding party. They'd never be alerted. Mm. Eight of them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is she speaking loud enough for the rest to hear? Probably not, but I was about to um, come over to you guys and relay the information anyway. Um, yeah, there's there's eight guys up ahead. Uh, they're wearing the heavier black armor. But Jumper thinks we can sneak past them and get towards the raiding party. What do you guys think we should do? I'll second the sneaking. Sure. Seems better than confrontation at this point. She's gonna nod at Nisa and be like, I've seen them. They check in every couple hours before, or at least they did on the first group before we went to Greenest. Hmm. And if they don't check in, they'll know what's up. Okay. We should make sure they're not... Uh, on a bounty list. Yeah, I, I whip out the bounties and see if there's... Does he have vis visible descriptions, or did he actually get some... He wrote visible descriptions. I didn't, but we're going to say they're there. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll scan those. I, and, uh, I want to commit them to memory at the same time as him, if, if you have them out. Yeah, we're going to try to do that as well. I, do you have an ability that actually is like commit to memory? His mastermind. I would assume so. Me yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's just well, say okay. if you if you memorize <laughs> the photos when you try to recognize them, you're gonna have advantage. Okay. Um. I will do my best as well. Uh. I'll describe oh. them to Jumper and see if she saw any of them. Um. I also remember Nighthill drew them out. That's what I thought. I thought he oh. did he drew them out. Yeah. Then so. I'll show them. Any of these look familiar? And she's gonna, she's gonna like tuck forward and like. Nope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And as as she says that word, there's a little more fire crackle and hiss at the end of her statement. Mm. Sounds sense. like you need more teeth. <laughs> All right. She's gonna not be like bugs are hard to come by. <laughs> Don't like uh, that. Just seg segue to teeth every once in a while, randomly. Yeah. Teeth and hands. <laughs> teeth and All hands right. and feet. That'd be one of those things that the uh, Sriracha just looks at him for. Like, why are you saying that? <laughs> not actually do anything. What's it with you and teeth right now, bro? Look at that. <laughs> okay, um... Alright, uh, yeah. Jumper, do you think you can lead the way? Are we going around or going through? Around. Around. Sneaking. She's, she's gonna, now I'm... Are we gonna camp here or go around while it's still dark? Go around while it's still dark. She nods and, like, without saying anything else, she heads to the north. Okay. I'm gonna follow her and gesture yeah, towards same. Neeson. Yeah. Just making sure he's with us. Um, so I'll... she's gonna... Go ahead. Oh, I was just wondering. We originally planned to camp, but it sounds like it, we've got... a good advantage where we're at right now, so... Yeah. I guess we should just take it. Yeah. yeah. Um, she is gonna lead you quite a walk north, and then start arcing back to the west. Um, so she's going like up and around. Mm -hmm. That's fine. 
That's what I wanted. Uh, her path also keeps you in the woods and off the main trail. You do lose sight of the raider tracks, but you still kind of know what direction they headed in, and as long as you hook back that way, you can find them again. Yeah. I wasn't worried about that too much. I'm going to go back to Gorik and see how he's doing. Just if he's recovered from whatever just happened to him. I... Okay. I don't have anything else. No, no I thought you were going to oh. say something. Oh, no, I was just... <laughs> you come up to me? Yeah. See how I'm doing? All right. Uh, yeah, sorry, I... I'm just... doing... I'm doing fine, thank you. Yeah, I'm just happy for these now, <laughs> to be honest. Right. As long as it doesn't happen again, I'm... I'm going to be all right. Sounds like jumpers on our side. Uh, we should make sure it stays that way. You know, mm -hmm. I think it'll be all right as long as we don't like, I don't know, take our teeth or something. <laughs> I don't even have to say that. <laughs> I'll probably just nod and stay silent, honestly. He said, he said that, I want to, I want to say RP-wise that he says that because he just said the teeth comment and he has him kind of caught off guard in thinking about teeth at the moment, specifically Jumpa's teeth. Yeah. Okay, my disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. Right. I could see. Um, so she is able to lead you up around and behind the rear guard without any issue. She kind of keeps her eye out into... Almost this like radial path. Um, yeah. She just keeps an eye on it and she's tracking you guys through. She seems pretty confident in herself. Um, Till she gets oh, to another but point. Have you met us? She's confident in herself. <laughs> <laughs> no. She hits a point where the tree lines kind of bear out and she continues against the tree line. It's like the very edge of the woods and she's like a couple feet into it. Um, and you can see that the raiding tracks start up again on the main road, but she's not going out to the main road. She's going to follow it in the tree line. I'm following behind her. Um, yeah, we're all going to have to leave it Yeah. It's going to take uh, probably a couple more hours to follow them to... She points out... Oh, I'm sorry. She points out a ways, and you can see above some of the hill lines, there's actually a guard tower top. Hmm. You can't see into the guard tower, and you like just see the roof peeking up. If it weren't for the dim light of the moon, you probably wouldn't even notice it. Um, you can't see into the guard tower, though. It's like just the tip of it. That's fine. Um, Knowing that it's there is quite enough. Yeah. Yeah. And she's going to gesture to it. And it's been a couple hours at this point. Uh, yeah, actually, so it's just, she's just going to gesture to it. Uh, so we need to take that out. She's going to look at Ramsey and she's going to put a finger over her lips. Um, how structurally fortified does this look? Right now, you're just seeing like the tip of a rooftop. That's just it. The tip. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I um. I get to see the. Would I would be thinking, what is that? Is that? Thing? She's gonna look at you and she's gonna say, "Hunt." <laughs> yep. Um. Mm. How many? Big? Not like a lot. Big. Skylar, I think you might be muted if you just tried to talk. Okay. Um. Um. She looks a little frustrated. Big amount? A lot of bad guys? Okay. We're not hunting right now then. 
No. Ramsey. I don't, don't know why she doesn't want you to talk, but I think this is it. What's the next play? She looks like really frustrated again. We need to go in quietly, I think. With the uh, idea. Um. I'm I'm all sort of that. Eh. Can we wait a minute and see if there's a guard rotation? So right now tower? you can just see the tip of the tower. You can't see any enemies there. There is um, like firelight glowing from the area, and like. Maybe at this distance you can kind of hear voices, um, but you can't actually see anything over the landscape. Can we kind of tell what time it is? Uh, it's early morning, very early morning. The sun has not cracked yet. Okay. Uh, and probably won't for another couple of hours. Okay. Rin, can you get up a tree and get a better look? Can Would Rin be able to get you atop a tree and look? Yeah. Can? These are very climbable. Not like fir tree. Um, God, I can't think of it. It's those trees that have the branches, like every couple feet, they're not hard to scale. Like a redwood, almost. Like, no. Like a pine or something. Like, yeah, like a, I don't know. Like a pine tree. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, we'd be happy to, to scale up and do whatever perfecting. <laughs> but just super quick, while we were walking or talking or whatever, Rin was like packing mud onto his clothes and stuff, because he's seen enough kobolds smell him at this point, that he's trying to... Cover the scent. ...before it happens. Yeah. So, he's really messy now. Uh, <laughs> but I can't imagine that'd be too much of a problem <laughs> climbing a tree. Yeah, it's pretty much that kind of... I mean, he thinks he's, you know, doing the most, but whether or not uh, that does anything, I guess we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, he'll, he'll climb a tree and try to get a better look at that tower if that's what we're going for here. Uh, give me a perception check then. Okay. Uh, 17. Okay, so you see that there is one guard in the guard tower. Um, there's a bunch of people standing outside of this like rim. Um, the way that the landscape come in, it kind of dips down and makes this like hole that sets back. So it's probably like sheer land on each side. They've gone into this like almost horseshoe shaped part of the landscape that dips down. Um, so there's a guard tower towards the entrance. There's a bunch of people standing around. Um, there's a bunch of stragglers just walking straight into camp. Uh, you have dark vision, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you see when they walk up, occasionally they'll do a big spread hand or like a three and two fingers down and I'll kind of shout something to each other, and they just walk straight in. Okay. Um, you see some hunters bringing back um, some elk. Probably, we were probably hired to uh, feed the camp. Gotcha. Okay. But there is a good number. You can assume that this is where the rest of the raiding party has gone. Okay. And this is this is a fairly large area. I imagine yes. these are there are quite this a few of these guys massive. here. This is probably the, the horseshoe shape that you can see submerged into the ground. Probably dwarfs greenest. Sheesh. Okay. Um, and I, I can't imagine with that roll I can see any signs of, of their big boys, the blue dragon, the witch, or any of the like. Okay. Um, they're not out front, but I will say you can probably assume that they've gone to their tents. It's very late at night. Sure. Those are probably already set up for them. Okay. Uh, with that, I don't think there's any other information about this place that I need, so I will uh, hop back down the tree, and I will present all of that uh, as quietly as necessary. Uh, I'll ask you if you saw any prisoners or anything like that while up there. Did I say like any anyone those? Not from that <laughs> vantage point, yeah, but I will say you can probably imagine they're talked farther back in. Sure, I figured. Uh, and I'll relay that as well. Uh, <laughs> didn't see any out front. Uh, mostly just looks like hired hands that are traveling back and forth. I can't really get a, an angle outside of you that. You said it was a horseshoe shape? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Understandable. Okay. Because he looked at it, I will show you guys. You must find my master. It's it's a giant inset into mm. the land. So. Oh, there. Okay. We're coming in from where? That top. There's part, right? only there's only one entrance. Yeah. So Rin would have been able to see the tops of these all the way around and would have seen that it closed in. And there's and only the this entrance. Those are just, that's a cliff face? Yep. So they're sitting in this little horseshoe plateau. But down. Horseshoe Valley. Um, is that? Valley, right. right. Yeah. Plateau is the tall one. That's yeah. what it's around. Uh, <laughs> the other way. And... Is there a way for us to circle the camp and look down into it? Uh, there's a lot of forest and brush around the top of the camp plateau. And you guys could probably sneak up there without too much of a problem. Uh, the bushes are really tall. It's very, there's a lot of vegetation up there, probably provide cover as well as a lot of sneaking advantage. Is, uh,. Can we tell what made the uh, depression in the first place? Like, was it, it was it, it the river? It natural. Or, huh? It's just a natural. Not not a river though. Not a river, no. Probably um, tectonic in some way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm down for the sneaking around thing. Yeah. <laughs> Say agreed. Yeah. I only, um, I only have so many arrows right now. We can't do this loud. No, we're not gonna go in guns blazing. No way. Like that. Um. Okay. If we split up into two groups and circle around, we can cut our time in half and meet on the opposite end. How big is this area? It's massive. It's it dwarfs green yeah. greenest. Um, yeah. But you can guess it? it's probably about 10 miles back. It's big. Sheesh. Wow. Like, I'll move oh, it to oh. 8 if you want that, but that's as small as it's going to go. That's uh, a whole it's, lot. It's big. Oh. I don't know. It's going to be morning by the time we get around. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking, too. We don't have time for that. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't. We um, couldn't get halfway there. No. Yeah, but we couldn't do that if we snuck in, either. Yeah, fair. No. Jeez, I don't think we're doing this, this right now. I was going to say, how far away are we yeah, from we, the entrance? We are not the team that's capable no. of doing this. Um, at this you're place. probably miles long. about half a mile from the entrance. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah full of bad guys hmm. yeah this is a fucking city if mm. yeah if we were to give a rough estimate about population in this place are we talking like like tens of thousands or from from what you saw um there was a, a good decent handful just at the entrance um yeah. but you can assume that it's the rest of the raiding party and whatever waves that didn't come to greenest yeah we are not the team for this <laughs> We need to either go back with recon, or I think that was the original lives. plan, wasn't it? I, I mean, yes, it was. I believe so. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, like, I know we have to get Neeson's master, but I. So. Okay. Not if you can. Jumper oh. looks agitated. Um. Not with you, but with something around. Um, she smells something she doesn't like. And she kind of starts wide stalking around the hills, like up, like parallel with the guard tower, like she's going up to the cliff. Uh, I'm going to ask her what it is. Or she's probably a wave at this point. Well, it, even so, as she's like walking, she'll like turn around and all she really does is like flare her nostrils and snort. And. She tries to talk, but it's fire crackles and smoke. See how far away is she from us? Hmm. Only a couple, probably like 30 feet. Oh. I want to know what she's doing, but like, I don't, that's... Actually, I think Sriracha would definitely follow her, actually. Okay. At this point. Yeah, I was going to say, at this point we followed her far enough. That... Yeah. She's going to hug the tree line um, till she can get into the thicket that goes up to the edge of the plateau. And she's gonna make herself small, and she's gonna crawl up the rest of the way. I'm gonna ready the the um, heavy crossbow. Okay. Yeah. I uh, I'm gonna gesture for you guys to stay there and just real quick. 
I'm gonna crawl with her. When you reach out, I'm gonna cast invisibility on you. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's like, just, and Rin's like, boop. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, just, <laughs> oh. I already know what you're doing. This is, come on. You need it the most. Uh, yeah. And, and while he's going, I'm, a shiny gonna, armor. I'm gonna try to start navigating up a tree to get a better vantage point on him. Okay. Um... Yeah, if you follow up a tree, you can definitely keep an eye on them until they go into the thicket. <sighs> uh, once they go into the thicket, you can try and keep track. But At that point, it's on them. They know she, <laughs> she has obviously selected a track that was very covered. Um, okay. I'm following here, but I have a plan. Okay. You have an hour of visibility. And I'm, I don't know, is, is he capable of, uh, like, dispelling that? If he's the target, or am I the only person? He is not capable of dispelling that as the target of it. Um, but okay. if he makes an attack... Oh, that's right. If he makes an action, it's, it's gone. Yes, okay. it will dissipate. Don't plan on attacking anything within the next... Several minutes at least. <laughs> I'm um, still against the bushes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just keep my distance ish. I want to stay within about she's 100 gonna, feet. She'll crawl like, straight up to the. Um, she's going to go straight up to the edge. Okay. Ah. Um. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm invisible, so it doesn't matter right now, I guess. Well, I guess just make sure I'm not making too much noise, but... Cling, cling, cling. Um, I was gonna say... You can make a stealth check with advantage. Because of invisibility. Okay, well, I'm glad it's with advantage off of that. Okay, that's a lot better. 19. Alright, so when you don't make too much noise, you're able to slip through the thicket pretty well, um, masking your noise with just... I'm gonna say wind, nature sounds. You just move right when the wind gusts. You get it good, so... Loose okay. change, running yeah. through the forest. <laughs> yeah. What a natural noise. <laughs> I'm wearing plate armor now, not chain mail. Yeah. Fine. Silverware. <laughs> <laughs> just pots so, and pans. Now that you're up at... Because you went to the edge with Jumper, right? Mm -hmm. Did you do that too, Ramsey, or are you holding back? Ramsey's holding back. I'm holding back, but I want to keep them within visual range. Okay. Uh, make a perception check now that you're up here. Um. There's. I meant Sriracha. Four. Because you're saying back. Yeah. I. I like I'm still talking. To, oh, okay. That was really close. That's a natural twenty. All right. So, um. Even though this horseshoe ring is incredibly large, they do not encompass the entirety of it. They only go in maybe a couple thousand feet. It is a large raiding party, but you can see um, there are ramshackle tents and kind of like haphazard, like almost housing put together. Um, you do see there is a cage with shackled prisoners inside of it. Towards the back, you see another large, it looks like stone warped cage with a bunch of those drakes inside of it. Um, there is another cage near that with um, children inside of it. Um, there are eight shackled prisoners, five drakes, four children, um, and on one of the back pillars tied near the the crate with the, or the cage with the children, there's a single half elf. Um, he looks very beaten. Is he tied to a post yes. or? Okay. Yeah. Um, he looks really bad for wear. Okay. Um, How many drakes were there? Five? Five. Five. And like the one you saw in front of the church, they are mixed colors. Um, Amongst them, you do see a black half-dragon walking around. Um, she definitely looks like she runs the place. Um, she's not barking any orders, but you see people kind of cower when she walks by and bow their heads. Um, she kind of just looks in general directions and they jump to doing things. 
Uh, there is no sign right now of the blue half dragon and the witch, um, but there are ornate tents that are set up that you believe probably belong to higher officials. Okay. But amongst everything, with the Nat 20, I will say, people are freely walking in and out of the front of the gate as long as they throw up that hand signal that Rin showed you with the five or the three. Mm -hmm. um, they seem to just be doing that and passing in and out like it's nothing. Um, can we... Can we wait to see more people doing that? And, like, what does it matter if it's a five or a three? Um, you can insight check it. Yeah, um, I would like to insight check. Of course, that one I get a fucking three on. Four total. Um, you can't really tell the difference between the two, but I will say even it doesn't look like it really matters. Okay, that's... Yeah. Um... Actually... Make a religion check. Okay, that's better. Um, religion. Oh, okay. Uh, 17. Okay, so you do know that this is their symbol for Tiamat and her five heads of power. Okay. But you're not sure what this one is. No. You know it's another Tiamat symbol, but you're not really sure what it is. Either one, I'm not too stoked to throw up, but, um... <laughs> Throwing signs. Team up, brother. Dude, even if it's just for, like... Uh, sriracha, sriracha wouldn't. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, um... Okay, and... That's oh, everything. so, wait. Wait, on, never mind, that was your inside check. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Um... Yeah. So that's everything. Uh... I guess I would kind of like whisper to Jumper, like, what is she? What? Shit. <laughs> kind of asking, is it that black one? She's gonna point to her neck and then point out to one of the ornate tents and flare her nostrils again. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna commit that ornate tent to memory. She, she snarls Pretty a sure little I bit. Know what that fucking means. Uh, she's not happy. She's really agitated. <laughs> like right. a dog when the mailman comes by and you can't get him to stop barking. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back uh, to them and relay the information, uh, gesturing to her jumper to join me again. She doesn't move. Figured. She's not leaving. That's fine. She's keeping her eyes on the tent. That's fine. Um, yeah, so I would explain all of that. Um, they got tents. They got kind of shanty houses. They got a couple of cages. Uh, one has four children in it. One has uh, eight shackled prisoners. And then one has the drakes. Um, and then we thought it was blue and the, uh, the blue dragon and the witch. But there's a black half dragon in there that's the people seem scared of her they didn't seem scared of the witch or the blue dragon I'll ask if any of the prisoners looked like they were wearing the same type of garb I'm wearing um I don't know if you would have been able to notice that was it, yeah, it, was it was the half the elf it, yeah oh, okay yeah I was uh, all I figured um I'll relay that information. There's one half elf with, uh, yeah, it looks like that, just strapped to a post, pretty near to the dragons. That must be that him. Was... Sounds like he must have been captured. Well, good news is he's still alive. True. Bad news is, I have no idea how we're getting him out. Uh, I'll look back at Neeson. Be like. Your brothers that were taken and sisters are, were they, can they throw a punch like you? Indeed. They definitely can. Um. How deep is the, hmm. is this cliffside? It 
doesn't say. <laughs> um. I should say how deep is like, let's say your shallowest. Um, the shallowest section. it starts rising up from like ten feet to probably sixty. Sixty. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Well, they're all monks. I'm they're probably good at climbing. I'm assuming it's shallowest where it ramps up to open up to the highest ground and deepest at the opposite end? Or... Um, so, yeah, it, like, the way it starts out from the path they brought in, it, like, just arcs up till it, it goes from 10 to, like, 60 real quick, and then, like, bowls. Okay. The, real quick, did the prisoner, like, area, was there, like, people watching that? Not intently. So... Then I'll also relay that information. Hmm. Is there a um, section that's less, that has, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Um, there were, a, like, nobody was really intently watching the prisoners or the children, but there were three people switching around the chained up solo. Oh, like on rotation? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so, so is there a section of the wall, or the, the, um, the cliff face, that has less uh, there where there are less uh, tents or activity. Um, so he did see that it didn't actually go deep. Um, you guys could probably go past the actual encampment itself because um, oh. it's only a couple thousand feet. Versus, mm -hmm. it's like this versus hole expands like ten miles, but they're only in the mouth of it, pretty much. Yeah. So, if we can drop a rope down one of those, and... Uh, it also looked very climbable. Very climbable. I just want to make it even easier. Yeah. Yes. No, I understand. If a rope makes it easier... Yeah. I have a uh, pittance as well, so we can definitely... Drive yes! Down. That's pittance. pretty loud, though. So do I. So are they just it is loud. It is loud. Maybe we'll just yes. tie it to a tree on the outside and then lead it down. Skyler, your mic's muted. Oh, I just wasn't talking very loud enough. Oh, okay. Never mind. I can do that. I've now. got uh, 50 feet of rope. Yeah, I yeah, think I, we all. So actually, do I. I do not. Oh. You know what? I do have some holy water. I don't want to do it again. Find a fucking witch, yeah. dude. For sure. Perhaps now is not the best time for that. Um, you deserve your revenge, but you know, uh, there's thousands of them. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. We kind of do what we did last time with the other Drake, right? That's what I was thinking. Uh, we gotta push those kids out of there fast. Then. Right. Yes, we absolutely do. Um, um, on the map, could you show us real quick, like, where the kids and the... So, it only encompasses still about here. Okay. So the kids and the drakes are about over here. Okay, where would the ornate tents be? Up there? Uh, right. the one she pointed to specifically was this one. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Gorik, do you have... Uh, your, your oil flasks. I always. How many? <clears throat> the, the single chained up prisoner is he in a cage? No, nah, he's chained to a post with three guards surrounding him. Is he chained or tied to the throat? It. It was difficult to tell at that. Even with a nat 20, it's very difficult to tell. Yeah, he doesn't have dark vision. Um, he's restrained. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah. here's what we're going to do real quick. If I can take your flasks of oil. I have three more as well, if you need. <laughs> three, I think three will be enough. Okay. Uh, I, I want to dump a few of them out. Um, take pieces of, of ration, like jerky ration. And uh, put them into these vial or the oil flasks. Fill them with a little bit of water. 
Uh -huh. And then if we can <laughs> real quickly heat the water to get it to boil with the jerky and get it jerky infused water. Okay. Uh, how are we going to heat it without creating smoke in the fire? Can we use a torch? I feel like a torch should be good enough just for vials. We can we can try to like keep a, a small torch and like keep it away. You guys are back it. in the woodline. She she brought you to a very well enclosed woodline. Um, okay. So what I'm pretty much want to make is uh, water bombs that smell like jerky. I can make them smell like jerky. That's easy enough. Or yeah, Sky can press the digitation. Press the digitation. <laughs> if you can press the digitation, this That's water. Smell. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, or even actually, wait, yeah. couldn't he yeah. do it to the oil? Theoretically. So that the oil, it could still be lit on fire if need be. You're Sorry. saying. <laughs> That's... I just want the jerky to smell like that, and <clears throat> the water, Last the oil to smell like jerky, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Can the oil smell like jerky? Yes, the oil can smell like jerky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Weird fucking question. Now here's the here's the plan. We sneak in, get as close as we can, and I want to. Give some of the drakes the some some jerky, it's real jerky, and then I want to cut them free. I want to break them out, and simultaneously, I want to douse the closest guards in jerky water. Oh, yeah. so they're the best target. I think that's a good idea. Then we need to get over and get everybody else out. They're going to be distracted by this, and then we get out the uh, the kids and the uh, the other people. <sighs> no, <laughs> if need be. There's a lot of people though. Right, we're going to have to keep create quite a commotion. I can probably help with that. I can probably help with that. See, they're not too fond of me right now. Hmm. With if your grievous uh, flag on your back? If I, uh, that's not there yet. That's when I get back. Okay. And anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, um, I could probably just run. Okay, if we wanted to tie the ropes to one side, I could get down and then get all of their attention and then run to the other side and climb up. Uh, I just don't want to make you a target. Yeah, that's a good point, but I don't know how to distract them right now. Could we sneak up and set a tent on fire? Or that. Yeah. I know just the tent. Sally, you're muted. Well, you're now I'll, uh, I'll offer now up to go muted. with Sriracha, and I'll actually I'll offer you to stick with the party, and then I can make the distraction if you let me know a tent. Um. You guys are willing enough to uh, help free my master. I think we're all going in for a little bit. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, those kids are my top priority right yeah. now. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's I think you same. should be on the kids. That's what she said. That's... Well... Just, just drop them. Uh, you know what? Anyway. I'm gonna have to pay for that one. We're moving on. Um, <laughs> Alright. So, Rin's on the kids. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> Neeson is, is lighting the fire. I'll take care of the fire, yeah. Um, let's see. Sriracha and I can take the drakes. Wait, he's not very sneaky. I don't have discipline. Goric and I will take the drakes. Yeah. You Rin, do have you gleaming to, armor, though. 
Yeah, what? but I don't have disadvantage. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, Rin and Sriracha can take the, the kids together. You watch Rin's back, and then after we have released the Drakes, we're going to go, uh, Gorg and I can go after the uh, Chained Man. Um, from your description, the all of those cages and the Chained Man are pretty close together. The kids, the drakes, and the chain man are together. The drake cage is made out of stone, so there's got to be some kind of chain holding some door together. Mm -hmm. um, the cage with the prisoners is more towards the front of the camp. Um, it looks like they're being used for labor. Damn. You should. There's a chain. That's a. But it is nighttime, so they're not. All of the all of the prisoners should still be there, unless they do some night shifts. Which I mean, if they're slaves, they probably do. Which that's a bummer, but that's unfortunate. Um, me and Jumper could do that. Oh, go for the yeah the slaves. Everybody oh. make a perception check. She's probably already fucking gone, isn't she? Well, don't think an eight's gonna show me anything. Nor is a five. Uh, 21. 24. 9. 9. Alright, so Rin and Nisam notice she is not in the area of the thicket anymore. And we have no idea where she went. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so scratch that. Me and Jumper can't do that. That's not gonna work. Um, anyway. Um... don't know what else to do about the adults. Uh, the other could, that are... could we tie off basically of like quite like more ropes than we think we need so that we have enough for people to climb up? Yeah. Yeah. More at once. Yeah. 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 Um, um, yeah if there's good. anyone who's not able to climb up, how are we going to get them up? Just when you carry them. You can look down at Gorik, and at that moment, he's he's flexing at you. <laughs> on you like that. Yeah. Okay. Keep, keep mind, you're like, looking you're looking down at him. Right. You're looking well way. down into him <laughs> yeah. at this point. That's just four like, feet downward. I know, right? <laughs> we can we can tie kids off and then pull them up. That's what I was almost thinking. Yeah. And then Oof. drop the rope back down if we need to. There's but we should keep one rope free for adults to be to continue to climb up. I'm trying to think if there's a better way to do it than that, but I think you're right. I the think front tying door in... is gonna be real fucking tough to get out of. Yeah, I don't hey. think I definitely don't think trying to go out the front will work unless we have a big enough distraction. Um, I will burn as uh, but... uh, how like how close are the ornate tents grouped? Uh, they're speckled throughout. Okay. Um, there's there's the one so at the like, wall that I'm going to point out to you. There's that one, <laughs> that one, um, and that one. So two of them are pretty close together. Why do you hate um, that tent so much, buddy? Okay. Then and then where are we? Currently, <laughs> currently, you guys are like over here. Oh, okay. So we're probably, okay. I do want those bounties, but get and me the drink. Yeah, the drinks and the kids. We can come out for the bounties later. All right, all right. This should yeah. be fun. <laughs> so Rocha's a little 50-50 on them right now, honestly. Um, on the kids? On on which he wants more, the oh what the oh, to save no. everyone or to get someone's head. Hmm. Ouch, yeah. Mr. Oh, Paladin. How's that working out for you? <laughs> hey man, it's a struggle. I gotta overcome it. I um, will. Sounds like it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Ramsey, you didn't take a long rest after the fight, did you? No. Make a con save. Oh. Perfect. I was, I Perfect was thinking, timing. <laughs> I always think that Victor is Ramsey, and I don't know why. It's just, <laughs> Ramsey, and I look at Victor. <laughs> it's like, why aren't you rolling? Okay, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> why are you rolling? There's enough adrenaline in your system to keep you awake and not exhausted. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Um, um, fuck. I think we should start the... The distraction and and but perhaps the other side. Well, well, I was we gotta gonna say the kids for now. I would assume. 
I suppose if we distract them and we get the kids out and then the drakes are out, there probably won't be many people at the front. That's true. If, I mean, if the camp starts burning enough, like if I'm capable of catching enough of them on fire, my guess is they'll be distracted with that, trying to put it out. Um, Can I share with him an idea? Yeah. With yourself? Or an idea? Um, it's of it's of a device itself. Um, I'm probably not smart enough to actually like make one, but I can describe it. Uh, basically, some of the uh, some of the oil flasks, but you basically tie off um, like a, a length of, of rope to the side away from the opening, and then uh, set some form of wick on the opening and light the wick and then fling it around like this so it shoots out flaming oil in a circle around you to help oh. you light the quicker. I know what you're talking about. Hmm. It's a swinging Molotov. That's Could do awesome. something like that. Yeah, I was... yeah, it's just spraying fire out of the opening of the... I was almost thinking of basically um, like tying off rope to burn as like different lengths of a... Uh... Oh, kind of like basically one shorter than one longer, so I can set the one and then go set the other one, if have possible. Flame up at the same so they time. have flame, yeah. So they flame up at least similar times. So yeah. Por qué no? Um, I will definitely ask you about the the flasks though, how they work. Um, so they're just they're basically just flasks filled with oil. Yeah. Okay. Glass flask. Do they have a wick normally in them? No. It's just a glass. Like, it would. Something you one of someone would have to roll to make them. I would I, I would be willing yeah to tear off field. part of my yeah. my to do it in order to like you make like different cloth lengths. Because I'm guessing the cloth will burn better than rope. So yeah, wait, can we just make molotovs out of these? Yeah, that's what they are. They're they're that's basically what. Yeah. We just um, oil flask. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna turn mine more D and D. Yep. I'm actually, yeah, uh, I'm going to turn mine into uh, Molotovs as well. Hmm. Just so I can... How much rope do we have? Do we have enough rope to... Like, how many ropes are we going to be able to get down? I don't have any, so this is on you guys. 50 feet. 50 feet, 100 right. feet total. You guys you hear a there? very large, familiar thumping in the trees above you. Oh, God. I'm just going to... Should make a jumper... Wave her down. I don't know. <laughs> she she's up in one of the top trees. She's like flaring her nostrils and snarling, and she's, she's mad. Kind of yeah. Yeah. Um, she's just mad. Um, I mean, you can insight check it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I actually would like to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to as well. I'm gonna ask her to jump down so I can tell her the plan. My insight, I think that's a nineteen. It's a fifteen. Yes, nineteen. She's not. She's not impatient. Something has her agitated. Oh. Just angry. As Sriracha waves her down, she'll like flip off one like log to another, but this time it's a little quieter. It's not her silent approach, but it's not her clomping either. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely okay. I'll look around at you guys and be like, we should hurry because nightfall is going to be very important for this. So yeah, yep. time is um, of the essence. I'll quickly, go. I'll quickly before we set off, ask Jumper if it's is it just the dragon? Is it the the witch or? She's gonna like two fingers like point to the back of her neck like frantically. Okay, it's the witch. Um uh, yeah, I guess we'd communicate the plan with her and just um now that she's back, we could go for the front, or if you guys think we should do the thing where I'm hoping to recover yeah. for Ren. I was gonna ask her. I know Gorik is coming with you guys too. Yeah, I was gonna ask earlier if you noticed they have if they have any sort of garb when they're bringing like the people going in and out of the entrance, or if they're like they all look similar or things like that. Because we could have one of us act as a prisoner, namely me, because uh, I'm already dressed up like the other monks. Right. Um, I feel like if anyone was gonna be prisoner, it should be me. Well, we could have two prisoners, but yeah, that's true. Well, uh, but we need some talking, force. Sorry. Whoa. Sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Jumper does the same thing where she pulls that hand out, snaps off a digit, eats it, and casts a spell above you guys. Okay. And she starts flaring her nostrils again. Oh, God. What does she do to us? She's... Can I have a check? Yeah, she did the spell. Oh. 
I like above you guys. Yeah. Um, okay. She's done it once before. I was going to gonna say we noticed uh, it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't remember that, but I, yeah, sorry, my bad. Yeah. Okay. You're fine. Um, so yeah, I do. Guys... I do mm-hmm. think the. Oh, sorry, sorry. You can go. I was, do you think me and Jumper should do something else, or do you think we should go with you guys? I mean, I really think you should be protecting Rin. Mm-hmm. Maybe if Jumper is assisting Neeson, and I'm pretty, I'd be like, I just met her, but I'm pretty sure uh, she's gonna do her. I own think thing. Jumper would want to be killing people. She'd probably end up doing her own thing anyway. Actually, yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm... That's yeah, a great right. distraction. Yeah, mm-hmm. Not associating is probably the better plan. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna yeah. ask Jumper to go to the other side of the cliff then. Yeah, that's what was... and kill people from there. Fucking hunt. Yeah. <laughs> Hunt all you want. Hunt. She's like she's in a more there. agitated state than she typically is, so instead of returning like the hunt thing, she's just in the trees and gone. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Well, that's the signal. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, no. that's the signal. I'll start like I'll cut off or rip off part of my geese sleeves so that I can turn them into different sized uh, or lengths of wick. Um and then I'll let you guys know. I'll be like, this: the signal is once you see flames. Um, I'm going to, real quick, pull yeah. out a thing out of... Hopefully I have a thing of holy water with Lathander symbol on it. I don't know if it would have Lathander symbol on it, but I would get it from the original Church of Lathander I set out from. Anyway, yeah. uh, I would hand that to you and just be like, also try and throw this at the tent you're lighting on fire, which is for my own for sake. Funsies. Anyway. Mm. I can do. Just make um, sure you get my master out of here. I will. Yeah. No explanation or anything. Sure, yeah, fuck it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll agree. What? All right, so we tie off, make sure the ropes are set secure, mm. and descend. Uh, how long are these ropes? We need to know how much we have left really quick. That's annoying. They're 50. They're 50. I know uh, they are 50, but we're using both end. of them and all of them. Yeah. Uh, if we don't need to do the full 50, maybe 30 or so, but like, we Why definitely can't. want. Mm-hmm. Just to make sure that I'm on par, uh, am I going in the same way you guys are, or am I going around to the other side where the kids are more localized? Uh, um, we're going around. Yeah, so, we, so long... we're going around, and then they're going. Okay. Bork and I are going to go straight to the rakes, try to cause a distraction. How long would it take you guys to go around? A while. Not very long. No, oh, no, okay. No, they're okay. they're not very far in. Okay. Good thing. While we go, the um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of my daggers out and just cut a little couple ear holes in my hood because I I feel like they're always just constrained. It's really frustrating me. So <laughs> now the hood's up and you, and you can see the ears actually poking out and he's got the mask on. He's actually gonna carry that dagger. Yeah. Um, and you guys are approaching the side, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, where you guys basically like went up with her, but a little farther back. Yeah. Uh, um, is everyone going? I, I think, think we're, I think we're splitting long. up. I think. Yeah, I think we're doing two parties. Yeah, we're doing two parties. I'm gonna technically three because I'm gonna be splitting off from them too. Yeah, we're doing three. I love splitting. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to look up a monster, and I guess I missed that. Yeah, they're yeah. two. They're going for the Neeson drakes. And jumper ish. Are one group doing the distraction? Yeah. Rin and uh, Sriracha are going to the children, and they're gonna. Wait no, but to go into to go into there. Like, oh, we're all going down as a group. Here's, yeah, yeah. And then here's, off. here's the entrance, and then the two sides. Where are we? All of our players. For the south side. Me, uh, me, we... Ramsey, Rin, and Gorik are going up the right side. Oh, and Jumper, right Jumper and Neeson are going up the left side. Okay. Oh, but now, man. right now you guys are at the top of one of the plateau structures behind the camp. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Make a perception check. Um, you have advantage because you're on that side and you're not. Okay. It's, it's a distance. Thanks. So, who has advantage? You, uh, Neeson oh. has advantage. Oh, okay. 18. Uh, 29. Six. Oh, actually, 21. 21. Okay. 21. Uh, Rin, you're muted. 
Oh, or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that, Alright, so I guess everybody but Nisim sees that Jumper's already sliding down. But, oh. oddly, it's incredibly quiet. She is sliding down question. back and, like, tactically, she's like, she's closing in. Yeah. I know she's smart, but... Yeah, okay. Um, it's fine. Crafted. That's fine, I guess. Um, I'm gonna, hopefully we're at the right spot. Um, while you guys are doing the ropes, I'm, uh, I'm gonna light a torch and just have my flasks ready. Okay. Are you stealthing that torch? Can I, can I use prestidigitation to... I mean, the I'm on top of the... Is that, like... Yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to reduce the, the light that's being emitted yeah. from that torch. So okay. Disadvantage? Wow. Okay. What? Nobody seems to see what's going on up top. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Descend. Yep. The ropes. I, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for things to get started and then I'm gonna descend real quick because I wanna light the flasks and throw them. Uh, yeah, whatever would get me closest to those tents. Yeah. Okay, so oh. um, make an athletic check. Okay. It's not difficult. I will say that. Um, you fail. No, uh, eleven. Okay. Yeah, you don't have any problem okay. getting down. Um, there's plenty of handholds the way that this rock came up. There's plenty of handholds, footholds, little outcroppings, and you just kind of shimmy down without a problem. Okay. Cool. Um, and from the bottom, you can see a couple a ways off, there's some boulders and bush outcroppings, and there is a little black shadow waiting for you. Okay. I will uh, move up to the little black shadow as stealthily as I can. Are you going forward with lighting the fires? Or um, guys... Yeah, I'm going to try to sneak up behind the tents and plant the flasks. Okay. Um, you said there's like two main ordinate tents, right? Yes. That are close to each other? Yeah. Um, are there like smaller tents as well? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's people around them, but I guess, none of them are facing towards I guess wall. I should have uh, figured out how many flasks you guys gave me before I went down. We don't need to use particularly flasks. You can like dump some oil on it and then light it. No, that's dump true. Light. That is true. Um, as and you then in an emergency up, situation, throw. The whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you walk up, Jumper keeps herself between you and the line, eyesight line okay. of anybody else. And you notice she's this black little shadow. So, and like opaque. So she's giving you a form of cover. Oh, okay, cool. Perfect. So that basically helps me stealth up to the tents. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we'll have you make a stealth check with advantage. Okay. Um, just one though. Uh, with advantage. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, oh, come on, man. No, it's fine. Uh, well, the first one was, what, four? Yeah. Um, eleven. I mean, you're sitting in this seat, so now you can see that you're yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So. You're fine. There's, <laughs> cool. a, there's enough cover. Well, luckily she was there. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah. Uh, whenever I get one of get behind one of the tents and I set up the flask, I can uh, use what elemental affinity to start a fire on it. So I won't make any basically noise or anything like that. Yeah. Cool. Um, so our fire starting now. Uh, you're doing the timed fire. Right? I'm doing the timed fire. Yeah. Um. So as you light the fire, and Jumper will look at you, and she'll flex her hands, and these little fireballs pop. Okay. In her what? hands. Doesn't she have? To? Yeah. And it's... she just kind of looks inquisitively at you, like. Fire? No, I'll be like, I don't, I don't need the fire. No. She'll, she'll be like. Huh. Like. More fire. Big fire. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll give her a thumbs up. No. <laughs> um, so when you do that, she just torches oh, the well, tent. Oh, that works. That's in front of her. Okay. Um, and um, you guys start seeing. It's got a pretty widespread. You guys start uh, seeing the fire. <laughs> As she does she, that, I she want catches you. one ornate tent and the two other like shamble tents. All of it gets caught. 
And well, this big oh. fire explosion that you guys see. I, I will, uh... Huh. It's, uh, so, uh, after they start burning, can I start heading towards, like, uh, the center where the drakes are and the... Yeah, the so they have to are? cut back around yeah, yeah, and go towards that's that. That's fine. Um, let's see. As, as we're scaling down or, or preparing while watching for the fire, I'm going to turn to Ramsey and say, uh, uh, People start freaking out and trying to put the fires out. I'm um, trying to light the three flasks I have and just throw them on different tents. So, okay. So. Are you throwing at the ones that are below you guys on the rocks? Yeah. Okay. Uh, God. What, what kind of check would that be? I don't have an actual character. And you say what to Ramsey? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I guess make attack rolls and add your decks. Okay, yeah, that's so. what I was thinking as well. Okay, that's a four. Fifteen. Our conversation with Brad. And twelve. Okay, so two of them hit. One of them goes wide, but does land in a little squabble of people. Cool. So. Um, and then I'm going down the, the thing towards them. Uh. Likewise. You're moving away, right? Uh, from the tents? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She Obviously. moves to continue to shield you, and uh, uh, as she does this time, you notice not only is she like this little black shadow, but she has this like black mist coming off. Hmm, okay. So, you guys that are. That seems a little creepy. Very well hidden against the dark. But, uh, that's good, yeah. What, what do you Thank say, you, Gork? Jumper. I need to know what you're gonna say. Yeah. No, no, right. you don't, you don't. It wasn't, it wasn't important. It was, okay. uh, something along the lines of, uh, just surprised at how well the tents had lit up with the the, <laughs> the oil. Okay. Yeah. That oil was so successful. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I did my job. <laughs> it was a just a great me, job. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So you two are going off to the kids, right? Yep. Okay. We split off. Both go. Sneak, sneak, sneak. There's a lot of chaos, but I'm going to have everybody roll self um, because the fire distraction, I will give you all advantage. Um, oh, it was like caught. I got to re-roll. Triple advantage. Okay. Oh, so ah! Uh, 15. There I go. Oops. Oh, well, I'm not going to top that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, 20. Uh, dirty 20. 18. Then. Right. 13. Was it seventeen? I think you're yeah. either muted or too quiet. I don't really tell. Nope, still nothing. Expert, expert in this skill is is twice proficiency, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I heard a nudge. Twenty-three. Yep. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and Sriracha. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. So there's too much chaos going on right now. Nobody sees any of you. They're just That's trying to fine. put out fires and figure out who left goddamn candles going. Um. But you also see a dragon half link, a half black dragon, a half blue dragon, and a very feverish witch pull out of one of the ornate tents. From which side? Uh, from um, Sriracha and, okay, okay. and there, the counter side. Um, the witch automatically starts. She tries a couple times on the fires that are near you guys with no luck and turns around and tries again on the fires that are across the way and the fires start to go out. And from mm. her hand motions and what she says, now that you've seen Jumper do it twice, you realize she just she's dispelling magic. Okay. We need real fire, not jumper fire. Did you it's ever get to light your you did light it. I did. Yeah. So it's but, okay. starting to burn. So not all of it goes out. <laughs> it'll grow again. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll come back. It'll come back. It'll come back. Just wait for it. Man. Not a shower. It's going to be yeah, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't um, worry. This fire's <laughs> Oh. No. Don't no. worry. <laughs> I'm trying to free some kids from a cage. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, saving kids. That's a little more important. Yes, right? saving children. So we want to get our portion done first, I would assume. Okay. So, okay. Gork and I need to sneak up to the, the cages with the drakes. All right. Um, what are the guards doing? 
The guards are freaking out, and they're around the tents. Um, there is one guard still standing with the chained up half elf, but his back is to you. Uh, half elf too. I'm, I'm assuming. Can I see from here? It's locked with like some form of padlock or something like that. There's I imagine. There's some chain wrapped around two large stone pillars. Oh, it's just chain with friction as a as a okay. Mm -hmm. Um, um, does it look like something I might be able to break with my crowbar? Uh, very easily. Oh, very easily? Yes, but the drakes inside the cage are agitated right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I rip off a piece of jerky, or okay. a few pieces of jerky, and quietly, if I can get close enough, toss them into the cage. I need you to make five animal handling checks. <laughs> I'm tossing him in. Five checks. Jesus Christ. You got this. Five drinks. Five yes, no pressure. Got this. <laughs> Big part of the... <laughs> Thirteen. Okay. Three. <laughs> Nineteen. Okay. Ten. And six. Okay. Three of them look very uh, happy with the jerky. Two of them, maybe they're hungrier than the others, haven't eaten in a while, they're still agitated and fired up. Did they um, eat the jerky, though? No, they kind of... That's It's not enough. More jerky? You can try again if you want to. You have more rations, so... Oh, yeah. Um, Use all of the rations. More jerky? I just imagine ten. their tails perking up. Okay. And three. <laughs> All right, one of them is still very irate and not having it. Um, okay, well, maybe he'll follow suit point. when he sees that everyone's having yeah. a good time. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. it's um, like, you're behind the drink pressure. Pressure. right? Uh, I, yeah, I started trying to get over Great to pressure. wherever they would describe where the my master was being chained up. So, so he's on the mm -hmm. other side of the drink tent right there. Yeah, okay. Um, and you can see Rim, or Ramsey, Rim, blah, 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 Ramsey and Gorick are there trying to feed the drinks. Okay. Um, can I get up to the chain without this guard seeing me, or is he gonna... His he'll, back he'll is to you. Knows. Um, he's occasionally glancing back at the man that's chained up, but he seems to be only making sure he's still chained up and, like, not really paying attention to much else. Okay. Gord, uh, I should sneak up and get him. You should. Um, yeah. are you gonna sneak up and get the gu kill the guard? I was going to, but I could also undo the chain and just walk away, essentially. So I can undo the Drake chain. Okay. We need you to get the the, gu the guy that they're guarding. I like that idea. The lock. Um, I want both that of you to make inside checks real quick. You have lock picks? What? I, do, I have a thief set, yeah. Both yeah, of you please make insight checks. Thieves tools? In, in checks. Insight. Please. Insight. 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 Sure. Yes. Not oh, very insightful. Nat one. <laughs> that's like the third time today. What the heck? That's unfortunate. Yeah. In so yeah, that's uh, that's an eleven. So at least Gorik knows um, he is actively watching this guy, and if he were to turn around and see that he was gone, he might raise some kind of alarm. All right. So how about this? Gorik, we, we go up together and kill him instantly, and open the cages. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I can, uh, I can use my crossbow. It's probably noisy enough here with all the insanity that I can, <laughs> I can get off a shot quietly. I'd like to get within striking range. Too, cold, too loud. I think we should go up together within striking range and strike at the same time. Uh, we could do that. I, I do have a long sword. Buddy. You'll get your sneak attack regardless if you sneak up to him. Yeah, for, for yeah. round two and on, though. So. Oh. If, if it happens. I don't know. Just plan for later in case. Okay. Um, Boldy, you roll stealth to get up to him. You have advantage because do, of the distractions. Uh, do you want to okay. come up, Roland, or um, Ramsey? Yeah, I'll, I'll come up. I'll, um, I'm going to uh, hand crossbow and uh, hand axe. The hand crossbow is still quiet. I say with advantage because of the bedlam going around around us. That's what I said. Yeah. She oh, said thank that. God. Thank God. 
They're like, I no! will. Eleven. If you got a nat one, you can reroll. You're a halfling. But what if it's a nat two? Oh, um, all right. Let me see. Oh, that's still a ten, actually. Jeez. Oh. He that's your advantage. That's, yeah, I got rolled two twice. No way. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's how I felt that's earlier. Okay. Uh, eleven. Can, can I well reroll a crit failure? Yeah, in lucky it just says a crit failure. Yeah, a two but, is not a crit Gork, failure. He doesn't notice you. Oh, thank Jesus. Did he notice me? No. Neither All right. Mm. It's fucking. I want to fucking tack, hack, <laughs> tack and hack. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Uh, Make your attack wait, rolls. Wait, shouldn't Gordon go first? Surprise yeah, that's attack. fine. Gordon yeah. can go <laughs> first. Of how to how to do this in the? In I mean, the, I guess it doesn't really matter. Go awesome. get sneak attack. I was trying to think of how to do it. Yeah, but thematically, I would do it first. Um, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and jump up and just, like, stab him in the neck. Yeah. Give me an attack roll. Uh, show me a good attack roll, you mean? Shoot. Um, Coconut artery real quick. That's that fine. would be a 10. You jump up, and you grab him, and you go for the back, and... Your dagger clinks. And someone is amazingly aware that you're here now. Okay. So I get my attack off then. <laughs> um, if Ramsey's attack doesn't kill him, I would like to action dash and use my charger feet. Okay. Okay. Well, um, Was the hand crossbow again? Was it D6? Yeah. So 14. Oh my god. 15 to hit. Mm. That doesn't hit. Mm. Okay. Um, I mean, that up. Shout out. Hit Do I get like advantage because we're flanking? And give you bardic inspiration. What is it? Oh. oh, we do have Do I get an advantage because we're like flanking? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Probably not. Oh, we're flanking. Okay. Um, it's okay. Am I close enough to be able to do that? Um, did you come down the rope? Yeah. Yes. I thought he was down there with it. Our, oh, so the kids are over here too. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, all kind we're of all together. These yeah. three objectives are all right next to each other. That's why we're... I can't believe we it's, can't the, it's the um, eight <laughs> oh. prisoners that um, are not close. Yeah. He didn't even know we were there and we both missed. We suck. <laughs> okay. Um, flashy kills. <laughs> okay. He's wearing, like, the heavier armor, isn't he? Uh, no. He's got, like, uh, a chain shirt. Okay, that's, that's good to hear. Um, yeah. Yeah, Gorg jumped up on yeah. his back and, like, clinked the dagger, Please. and he turned around like, what? And an arrow went, like, past his head. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You have that, like, headshot lined up, and they just move at the last second. My plus so is. I gave you bardic Lord inspiration, so you can add that to. I don't need damage. it, but it well, like... but mine's, mine's combat inspiration, so you can use it with damage now too. I'm and sorry. Includes, well, uh, it doesn't matter, but my my uh, crossbow was actually 17, but. Oh, that does matter. It does. Well, no, we're already past that. I forgot because I didn't. I've got not enough well, space to write. It really down looks like Austin got either a 20 it or was a, a one. It was on the 20. Rolled the two, and then settled on eighteen. That that's works. Um, so eighteen plus. You got you hit. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Um, it's a D. If you want to add it to damage, it's a D six. Yeah. It's a D six. Okay. Um, so for this damage roll, I'm rolling two D six and two D eight, uh, because I'm smiting as well, and then charger <laughs> gives me plus five because I already landed the attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Like okay. Train. The, two two the two D six was a total of six, and the two D ooh okay. Uh, what's six plus eight? Fourteen. I'm good at math. Yeah. Um, six right. fourteen twenty five. Gorik for funsies. Rolling deck yeah. check. Oh. As a refrigerator. Oh man. Yeah, <laughs> <his> refrigerator. <laughs> that is 
dex check. Save. Oh, dear. Oh, hell, I'll call it a save at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a save shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay. Uh, that is ten. Okay, Not that's 10. enough. So you just jump off his back in time as Sriracha just bowls <laughs> through this man and puts him on the ground. Uh, um. Okay. He is dead, yes. <laughs> he, he is dead. He is quite okay. dead. He is uh, double dead. He uh, looks like he did, and I just... <laughs> Spoilers, they have 25 hit points or less. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. Uh, yeah, um... <laughs> I could have, I could have done more damage too, um, but that would have taken another action. Anyway, uh, that's not the point. Um, probably just to look down at you and give you a quick little like, hit him next time. <laughs> well, but like with a smile. Savage. <laughs> Jumper's gonna look at Newsome and, and gesture to the drinks. Yes. Uh, no, no, I want to. I guess are we that. close enough that we're like we're. We're like behind the drink. Like, I'm, we came up, like, behind them, and the kids are here, and then Leosin is here, and then they're, like, between here. Okay. I would have known the plan, but uh, I'm going to look at her and <laughs> kind of just shake my head and head, head towards the chained up dude. My master. Okay. I just uh, have, like, props all the time. He's like... She's going to make a jump <laughs> up and over the cage and land on the pole that he's on. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. Show off. <laughs> Uh, Gorik, I want to give Gorik the the flasks of uh, of of meat juice, mm. and I want to go up and like I'll point at the guys just that I want him to throw them at some of the guards. As he points, I check them. Okay, um, before and... you guys. Okay, as you're doing that, I want to pick up the guy we just killed and kind of like try and hold him in front of the pillar. To say, hey, there's still a guy here. Don't worry about it. Gosh. You better run, because I'm about to let these fucking drakes out. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Never mind. Yeah. Jumper's yeah, going to slide down the pole now, and, like, as she does it, she pulls out her fingernails and cuts the rope that's holding Leosin is... and reaches oh. for the dead guard. Is I'm he a... conscious? Uh, he is not conscious. Okay. He is alive, but he is not conscious. Okay. Okay. I guess if I'm close no. enough, I'll catch him. As he falls. Uh, he's like he was slumped already, so she just really like cut his hands free. Okay. So you can like go and pick him up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, just keep doing it. See, I'll like rush over and try to catch him if I can. No, he he just kind of slumps, so you can just. Okay. Gonna go um, start trying to. Free I'm gonna break you. that chain. Right. So I was that's freeing the kids so earlier. Hmm. He's freeing what? the children. Hmm. What? <laughs> she just sits. <laughs> The well, children are safe in the cages for now. <laughs> yeah, no, we need to get them out before the drakes start running around. That's what we're doing. Can we? Yeah. Can we do that? Yes. Rins are that already out the cage. Yeah. Be able yeah. to get the kids out. No, that's, yeah, right. that's the whole thing. Is the whole time you're like feeding them and we did all the other stuff, Rin was like. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Up to the cage. Yeah, that's a Rin, do your thing. Mm -hmm. Um. So, so these are cages, right? Like, I actually have to figure out a way to unlock all this? Uh, it's or... one big cage, but there are four wide-eyed, crying children in them. Right. As far as a mechanism to unlock it. Uh... Uh, it's a standard prison cage. Lock. Okay, I have nothing to do that with, so I'm just um... going to try to, like, hit it really hard a bunch of times and see if I can just break it. I was about to say uh... that. Or, wait, don't hit the lock... I haven't hit the lock yet. What's up? What's your thought? Uh, Gorik. He's got a thieves kit, so... Is he coming this way, though? Well... I mean, I mean we can just be like, hey, Gorik, we need you. Hey, We're Gorik, we need you. Coming! <laughs> <laughs> this is the slowest strike operation ever. I yeah. know, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You're over there? Okay. At least there's <laughs> distractions going on. <laughs> oh yeah, the distraction is going well. Fire. I did my job. I head on over and notice that they are stopped by a lock and try to undo the lock with my. I already brought the prop out. No more props. Okay, with my with my thieves kit. Okay, um, it's very easy with your thieves 
can't. You don't even have to make a check. You can pop the lock. Shit. Shit going on. Mm. All right. You just get lock. <laughs> so you can pop it, no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out by the door while he's getting that open, and and once he does, I'm gonna lift the mask up and just tell them like, hey, come with me, basically. Uh, um, they are very afraid, so I'm gonna have you make a persuasion persuasion check, but you do have advantage because you're not a cultist. I would love to. Persuasion, I'm pretty good at. Uh, Emmett, you said? You don't have uh -huh. the cape of greenness yet. That means I get to roll three times. I love rolling three times. Natural 20. Okay. <laughs> well. They almost bowl you over trying to get to wherever you want them to go. Um. Santa! Santa! <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm going to collect them uh, to the best of my ability, and that is the the one track mine for Red there's, there's a small one you probably have to carry, but the other ones are pretty self sufficient and will follow along. Um, they've That's all perfect. grabbed part of your cloak to keep with you. Perfect. Um, and yeah. with your Nat 20, they are staying incredibly quiet. Perfect. Um, That's even better. Um, so at this point, child handling they, skill. Like, nuts to the party, basically. <laughs> um, <laughs> Avoiding that comment dexterously, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Rin is, is just completely tunnel vision to everything else right now, just getting them back up the hill or whatever, where it's safe from where I was about at. to say, if you duck straight back, you know you can get to the ropes that you guys had. That's perfect. And That's you are perfect. away from all the guards. Yeah. Um, while you were doing that, Jumper was trying to take the guard from Sriracha. I, I took my hands off. That's all um, So she's actually, like, tearing his armor off. Um, and she's propping him against the pole. And she's going to pull his arms back so it looks like they're tied. Okay. Uh, the pole that I just removed? The yeah. Guy from? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She got high enough on her inside check. Perfect. Oh. Um, I would, as Ramsey is breaking the chain, I'm going to just, like... I'm gonna go for the people in the front now. They're gonna come this way. Or all of the bad guys are gonna come this way. Um, so then I'm gonna take off towards the rope and hopefully head towards Climb back the up and yeah. go over. Mm -hmm. All right, with the rope there, you don't have to make a DC check to climb. You can just get out. Mm -hmm. uh, are you following Rin's rope or the other side? The other side. Okay. I need to be ahead of the children, I'm sorry. Can yes, I break the chain yet? Yes, you can. <laughs> uh, I break the chain. Are you, are you hitting it? Breakers are you... and chain. I was going to put the, the crowbar in between and... Just make a strength it. check. Um, He's fast. Don't make me come back. Ramsey, breaker of chains. Does he get strength. the uh, bonus from the crowbar or no? 14. He didn't need it. Uh, so it snaps right in half like it's nothing. Uh, make a dex check. I guess an athletics would have been more higher than that. Make a dex check. Mm -hmm. Like an acrobatics? You can either or Save. as the drakes come pouring out of the now open cage. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Mm. Oh yeah, four. That's a good one. <laughs> I can take a hit. It's okay. It's not too bad because you're just falling to the ground. Trampled. Um, it's only three damage. As you're hit with the cage. Door. Oh yeah, I'm Sweet. not even at full hit points. You haven't even touched my actual hit points yet. So <laughs> Red's got the kids up there, and you've got Le uh, Leosin. Yeah, um, which um, we have one of the ropes meant for tying people off to like. Yes, pull the way them up. that ring went up had a longer extension. Okay, so I'll start like tying him off so that he can get pulled up. Okay. Um, I'm not. I don't think I'm strong enough to carry him up. Um, you can try. I could try, but I don't want to drop him. So. Yeah, I was going to say, if you drop him, he's going to get hurt. Yeah, so. just, she dies. Like, oh, great. <laughs> uh, up at the top of the rope, and he'll help you up if you're coming up that same way that he did. Uh, yeah. So when I... Yeah. yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to try to cut you off. When I get to the top, I'm going to start stripping off my armor, mm -hmm. and hopefully I'm, like, halfway done by the time they get back up, because he's got some kids and stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be like... Make someone ca make Gorit carry this, and then I'm just shout it across the camp. No, like, I thought you somewhere. went up the other side. No, I'm. Oh, from the bottom. I'm I'm I went up the rope side. 
He's up top. There are, there are two rope sides. I came down on a rope on a different side than you guys. I didn't know he used a rope. I'm whatever side they're on. Right, right. So or, did they, or did you guys go to different right. sides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, whatever side you guys are on. Was yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I thought there was two ropes on the one side, and that's yeah. what it was like. What? I thought there was as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they used two ropes. We used two yeah. ropes, indeed. Two ropes. And then I did okay, a rope so on my three side. Ropes. So there's three, there's three, ropes. There's three ropes all together. Ropes are on the same side. <laughs> That's so, what we're getting at. We okay. got a lot of ropes, guys. We're we yeah. rope. We uh, used rope. all of our rope for this, okay? Yes. <laughs> Give me fine. fucking rope. Ah. Full scale rope consumption. <laughs> Rin, Rin, Rin had a rope. <laughs> fucking rope. It was uh, worth it, man. Well, I mean, he cool. went up a rope, but he didn't have one. Yeah, right, not gonna watch he didn't have one, we only had two to begin with. Yeah. So I'm saying we can't okay. have had three ropes because there's only two ropes. Oh, he made. I have rope. You have rope. Yeah, I, I, don't know. I was gonna say. I think this rope thing is too big a deal. I think. Yeah, we focus. <laughs> I think we we proper number of stuff. ropes, man. I know. It's like <laughs> we don't have enough rope. Like, <laughs> you can use rope for anyway. How effective are the drakes? That's the ropes. Uh, so they are much like the uh, drakes from the uh, shrine. Where they Figure. are going straight to work. And they've got some really nasty spitty stuff uh, going on. One of them Double even one, bowls mopey. into... No, the, the mopey one is the one that bowls straight into a crowd of people and lets off this lightning strike that freezes oh. the ground after it goes through it. Not Fuck it. yeah! That's so cool! <laughs> Alright. Gorek. I'm sorry. Oh, it's it's awesome, it's, yeah, the slaves. I... Um... Hey. What do, what do we see in that direction? What does it look like? Chaos. <laughs> Absolute just, just madness. I was about to say, as um, as the uh, the first Mopey Drake runs through and does that attack and draws blood, the other ones are up, and they start as, heading through. As I'm on my way there, I want to pull out a knife and start cutting uh, anyone that's died, any cultist that has gone down. I want to start cutting their wep like a weapon or two off, like swords, whatever they've got. I don't care what they've got, some kind of weapon. And want you to take guys it. are running through the whole camp. Yeah. I yeah. literally just took off everything I had and ran. I'm running on the top towards the front. That's fine. Um, no, because I told them to make Gorik carry all my stuff. No, I... Gorik is not going up there. Gorik's not going up yet. Yeah. But Gorik, but Bryn is carrying a child. Yeah, and I'm gonna carry, carry his mask. That armor, easy come, easy go. Rin has pretty much settled down. Like he's not going anywhere now that there's four children that are but like in need of his attention. Jumper was paying close enough attention. I think. Okay, let's. Yeah, I'm confused because we didn't discuss that. I don't think, did we? No, oh, I. I, I think the plan was create the distraction there, move back around to the front, free the people, and then leave. We didn't know. Yeah, that's what we I didn't. I, I was going to say, that's what they're were... going to do, right? Right. Okay, but my thought was, I thought the plan was get the people, go back up, go around. There, get the people, go. Oh, from the front. I'm going around. That was <laughs> where... Yeah, yeah, in the chaos, I mean, you can hit them from the front. We're going to go from the inside, from the back, inside, through the chaos. But that was the thing is I still didn't want to fight because they're not like at the front entrance. They're like at they're the They're going front. towards the back now that the chaos is blown out. I there. know, but that's what I'm saying is yeah. in case no, anyone was still there. Right, she's she's compelling your point. Oh, I thought she was. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, no, so yeah. I'm still trying to get them out through the front. Yeah. But no, that's what I thought. But I want to arm them up and give them as many weapons as I can and then let's head the fuck out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, you can get... A lot of armed weapons, armed weapons, not armor, whatever. Arms. Um, arms. arms. Oh, jumpers probably got like five more, by the way. Um, not surprised. You can, That's just you how can it goes. <laughs> get a little supply just from what's around you. Um, the drakes are going through and just ripping things apart, and they're kind of getting bloodthirsty to the point where they're not, they're not killing for food now. Things are running, and they're predators. So they're jumping on them. Okay. Well, yeah, grab as many swords as you'll let me. And, uh, while well, still keeping pace. And, uh, get their ASAP. 
You do see the black half dragon is going toe to toe with some of the drinks. Cool. Yep. She's getting uh, a okay. couple hits in too. As we run over or walk over or somehow get through that crowd, um, I want to ask Ramsey. Uh, um, the best way to probably do it is to skirt the outside of the tents. Sure, we do that. <laughs> <laughs> You, you they said me, best right? way. They said <laughs> skirting, skirting as we do. You know how we do. Um, I ask him, uh, uh, how how are we going to get so many out without uh, basically having them track us and, and try and run after us if they get this under uh, ma you know managed in time. We need to make sure we can get these people out. And we won't be chased down. I don't know how. Those guard towers near the front, right? There was one. Just one? How tall was it? Probably about 40 feet. How wide was the opening? That's probably a good 60 feet. We, we should scale the sides, obviously, but... I mean, running through the entire camp with them would be a, a, a bad decision, but what we could do is just go up the same side that, uh, that Sir Archer looked like he was going to. That's what we're doing, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Understood. Yeah. Well, I thought we're all getting them out to the front because that's what yeah. like. Yeah. We, we, we are were confused on front. what you were doing. We thought you were going through the camp from the back to the front, not going back up the plateau. Mm -hmm. When you get, yeah, okay, it doesn't work. I'm uh, so lost now. I am so lost as well. Basically, I'm pretty it. sure you guys are like skirting around the side, like, yeah. uh, like down below, kind the of. The south side, yeah, we're going. So Ross is south running across going... the top towards the front. Yeah. So you, you um, guys are basically okay. like 30 feet apart, just separated by terrain. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Agreed. And then I guess like you're taking care of the kids. Mm. Um, I'll tie him off because I guess there's no one else, and then I'll climb the other rope and start pulling Nisa, or, uh, Leosin. Leosin up. Yeah. Um, Mike and yeah, so following we're us. all gonna get to where the slaves are, free them, and then it seems like the only way to get them out is through the front. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we're, we're all going the same way. But the chaos is all mm. gathering at the back, so it seems like the front is clearing out. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. But, okay, but what Victor's saying is that they're going to know that someone took all the people and they're going to come after us. But but what at least I remember, just so you know, is that we did contact the monastery that had 300 strong, she said, and the other town. Yeah. Yeah. The town, uh, Burgess. They're not going to be able to catch up with us fast enough, I don't believe. I don't know. Yeah. And then by the time they do, we'll have an army that Okay. Makes that, was, that was my concern. Yeah, they're yeah. not like, oh, these guys that we just that was... <laughs> let's go kill them then. Yeah, yeah we don't see, have yeah. Any options, unfortunately, <laughs> for like safely getting these people out. We kind of just have to get them out and then run. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no other options. Um, yeah. Can I do whatever I can do to try and destroy tracks or mislead as yes. as we as we flee? Okay. But we got How many know. people do we? I have? know. Yeah, I'll um, stay behind. We're gonna have a few. Uh, we're gonna have us, which is and already a lot. Thirteen others. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'll well, try and destroy it. tracks as much as oh. I can. We'll okay, tell them to walk in single file. Fourteen others. Like sand people. Wait, uh, no, thirteen. I can't do math. Make a wisdom check. For... Yeah, because there's eight prisoners, four eight children. Eight prisoners, the four children, and the one dude. Um, yeah. yeah. Hey, my, my I did a thing. No, I'm not twenty. Okay. That's just straight, straight whiz, right? Yep. You have those nice little boots that change your tracks, so if you walk at the back... They change my tracks to an animal, though, correct? No, yeah. humanoid, yeah. right? Uh, some form of humanoid. humanoid. Oh, it's humanoid, but the same size as me is the problem. Oh, that's like, right. Yeah. I'm tiny. So? But you cover tracks uh, and... It's a rabbit. <laughs> Not 13 people that have gone through here. It's a rabbit. Uh... Oh, Goblin feet. I was saying okay. goblin. You could do kobold. 
I like uh, I like kobolds. I'll do goblin. Then it makes sense. And we can yeah, run through the brush and awesome they've been goblins. working with kobolds. Uh, oh, so they are working with. They are. That's kobolds. what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, I like kobold better anyway because they're cute. Well, they could think that they stole like the kobolds actually like took the humans. I guess. Be trained or, them or, the yeah. or they might not even follow the tracks because those have kobolds with them. That's true. Mm. Or because we'll they're find working out. with kobolds, it'd be like, oh, other guys have already tracked them this way. That's why I thought goblin would have been good because it's something that's weird and they haven't seen us with a goblin. <sighs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Is there um, any correct choice? Who knows? <laughs> I like the kobold. I like, uh, so see if we okay. can have them walk in single file and then I'll follow up the back with kobold tracks and try and walk in the same steps. So you guys are sneaking around. Um, both of you make stealth checks with advantage. Rand, are you returning to the thicket? Yes, I would okay. be. <clears throat> Just so, making sure I'm doing it like slowly and carefully enough, both um, for the, the kids and their safety. Uh, yeah, I'll with, carry my master and go with him. Seventeen. Uh, well, it seems like in the midst of everything, a couple of cultists have spotted Ramsey. <sighs> well, how much does it matter? It's two of them. Not much, to be quite honest. Murder. That's how I feel about it. Murder. Just <laughs> Ramsey. <laughs> Are they within kill range? <laughs> the most. I know, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I do. I notice that Ramsey's noticed. Noticing yes. you, noticing me. Uh, okay. Does Ramsey notice that Ramsey's noticed? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that's pretty important. Does Ramsey know? Does the guy notice that he's noticing someone? <laughs> Roll still well, your stealth was high enough that no. Okay. Um. You want you want to kill him? Yeah. Well, if we if we can. Yep. Okay. Um. In that case, I will attempt to. Uh, and in one hit, hopefully. Roll initiative. Um. One thing that I was thinking I want to do, since we have the kids and everything up, can we cut the ropes? I was I was hoping pull, that one of us cut the ropes. Yeah, pull the ropes up. <laughs> Don't waste rope. That's good rope. That's good um, rope. <laughs> well, I mean, we could we could cut it off and then pull it, or we could just pull it up, I guess. Yeah. You're trying to cut my rope, homie. I only got fifty feet. <laughs> so what was, what was your uh, initiative? Nineteen. Okay. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, yeah, nineteen. Gora Kilson, Bond's lover of rope. I think that's the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was your initiative, Gora? Uh, that was a 24. Alright. Uh, nat, nat 20, I should say, though. Gora should go first. Alrighty. So I got up as close as I could have. How close am I to the man? Five feet. Oh, yeah. I'm going to stabby stabby. Right in the dick. That is caught. I'm gonna move that actually. Oh shit, up and right. There it is. Uh, 18. One hit. Sweets. And I got this and this. And a little bit of and this. You also have a sneak attack. Because you were not seen. <laughs> so much death. You rolling like eight d six yet? Uh, I think I'm only rolling two still. Damn. Eight d six. Anyway, um, it is more than one. That is nice. Uh, that is a total of five, nine, thirteen damage. Um, so you get up to him and you got him. You do your little jump and you get him right in the throat. Oof. One of them's down, Ramsey. Okay, go for the other one. Um, I'm gonna be, um, how close is he to me? About five feet. Oh, five feet? Oh, yeah. well, shit. They were, like, I right on top of you. Yeah. No um, wonder they saw you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, uh, let's see, um, Dagger, hand axe, clack, clack. Alright, roll for attack. Um. Uh, 
Let's see. Eleven for the dagger. It doesn't hit. Oh, and I rolled a two on the next one. I don't hit with anything. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I can't hit anything today. <laughs> <laughs> so just too tired. Just starts yelling, and he's found people, but nobody seems to hear him. Amazing. Uh, so he. <laughs> Poor cultist. <laughs> no. So he's gonna try and hit you, um, but I'm sure that an eight does not hit your armor. Mine? No. Yes. He's still yelling, but it seems like nobody hears him. And it goes back to Gork. I stab him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I stab You're not gonna him. gently look into his eyes first. <laughs> I just, just make eye contact as you stab while him. stabbing him. I uh, his cheek <laughs> while stabbing him. That is an ungodly high number. That is a 22. That's gonna hit. Yeah. Shepherd. Ungodly uh, high. On advantage. Yes. Whoa! Well, that is a 15. Uh, Gork kills him outright again. I, I look to Ramsey and I say, uh, you can kill one next time too, you know. <laughs> Just grab some blood, smears it on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, fat ass. Do you hand plant again? Like hand plant again? <laughs> oh. oh. He's got a scar in his mouth because he thinks planted into the mud with oh, a no. dagger in his mouth. <laughs> he oh, got himself a half smile, Joker style. Like, I was half smiling. Still got a kiss. Head, and then yeah. keep heading. Okay. So <laughs> if you guys continue, then you, you're not seen by anybody else, and they were not alerted. So you're able to make it to the front. Uh, Sriracha, by now, you two have made it down and around. Rin, you are tucked back up. And I figured you're following Rin back to the uh, thicket. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so you guys are back basically to your plan point. Oh, cool. Okay. So you guys can hide <laughs> and wait. Um, Would we know to, I guess, like, was the plan earlier yes. for, I guess, for us to all meet yeah. at the front? Yes. So, yeah, no, I, I, it was to meet at, at the hidden area. Yeah, at this point, we would all probably We communicated know. that well. Yeah, or, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, to just meet Eventually. in, like, a uniform place. It would either be here or the keep itself, like, all was, the way back. I was going to say, if shit hits the fan, we'll meet at the keep. Yeah. yeah. So gonna, oh, yeah. This is something yeah, that our group would know. I yeah, would definitely say, yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd just be waiting with Ren, basically. Cool. If I'm okay, not so... there in ten minutes, wait ten more minutes. Well... Um, <laughs> well, what? I was just gonna say, while while we wait, Rin's gonna do his best to comfort these these kids, and so he's just gonna set up the drum and bring out uh, Maggie and all that, like let her pitter patter over the the skin end of the drum and just make noise. Uh, and he'll just mess with like he'll maybe pick her up with mage hand and bring her around to each. Oh my god, your rat's name is Maggie. Yeah, well Magnolia. But Magnolia. Okay. Yeah, I'll call her Maggie for yeah. Every um, time you've said that, I've thought back to like. When the mom was like, it's Miss Maggie. Like, it's oh, Miss Molly. Miss Molly. Miss Molly. Yeah. yeah. Still, that's close. Like, yeah. Okay, sorry. Anyway, yeah, so sorry. Ramsey, Gorick, and it's Sriracha yeah. now see each other at the front. Um, Gorick and Ramsey, I view you're probably going straight to the center um, to release the prisoners. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Where yep. are they fastened by? Uh, they're all fashioned by uh, fastened by shackles. Um, they're not shackled to anything. They're in a cage with their arms shackled together. And the cage is fastened The cage by... is fast. Uh, a lock. So actually, um, you're coming down around the front, and you can see them at the cage. Uh, Any guards guarding the that? Not right now. There's I a was lot going me. on. We did well setting a blaze the whole camp. Poked my head up the yard <laughs> tower. The camp. <laughs> uh, see, yeah, seeing that they're on the cage, I'm going to poke my head up the guard tower. There's no money up there right now. Good. There's is some... there a bow? No. Damn. Okay. I was going to say there's some rations and a candle. I'm going to take the candle. Is it lit? No. It's going to go out if I move it. Anyway, I I'm taking the candle. Um, I just want <laughs> his bow. This is if my... You really asked him for it. If you need no, it's fine. I'm going to grab the candle and meet you guys where you're at. Uh, so how many? The prisoners. There's how many eight prisoners. Eight. Eight? Oh yeah, there's four children, that's right. Jesus. How many swords do I have? Seven. What's your strength again? Can you 14? give me one? So probably six. Yeah. Six? You have a lot of okay. yeah, you have a lot Can of I actually 
I have a dagger. I look for one real quick. Yeah, and there's plenty. There's even a weapon rack towards the beginning where people used to turn in their weapons. Oh, sweet. It's I'm gonna a little grab picked the over right now, but... I'm gonna... gonna, gonna I, I don't even care what weapon right now, actually. I'm just gonna... I do care. I'm not doing that with you. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go for a, a sword. That's fine right now. Okay. I do care. Short, short sword. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Or... Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. You have a bladed sword. Guess I'll use a short sword. So, I'm gonna... <clears throat> I'm going to, if I, if we, if Gore can get that cage open. Um, uh, so, um, the, the prisoners that are in have recognized what you're doing and they're starting to try and rouse. Some of the other ones are very exhausted. Um, you can see their hands are calloused. They're tired. They probably haven't been fed or watered in days. Um, so they're trying to rouse the ones that are laying down to get up and they're kind of like hooking arms over shoulders and trying to get they, up. They're not shackled to anything, they're just... No, just wrist shackled. Oh, hell yeah, that makes it so much easier. Okay. With chains? No, just like shackles. Rope? Just shackles. Okay, that's shackles. fine. Manacles. Yeah, yeah like actual yeah, yeah, just shackles. Okay, okay, yeah. like attached okay. to each other and such? Yeah, they're, 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 they're not they're chained. chained. They're, yeah. they're actual, like, set they're manacles. Okay. Right next to each other, mm -hmm. the wrists are? Yeah. That's cannot okay. break those quickly. No. But they're not chained to anything. We open the cage and they can run. Yeah. Or we can yeah, drag. Yeah. And we we can wanted drag. to have them fight with us. I, I was going to say, they were going to arm them. Maybe. Yeah. No, it's maybe okay. it's kind of the best they can fight. They don't look. Can, yeah, the two strongest looking guys. Can Gorik, like, unlock those? I mean, it, yeah. Make your, you have thieves tools, right? You don't even have to make checks. Uh, I think I get it. I, I believe yeah. I add my proficiency. It's like a proficiency bonus. Yeah. Yeah. The DC yeah. is five. I'm gonna fuck this one. up. I'm gonna get roll, roll three, and if you it, get I was gonna say if you're adding two. dex and proficiency, the only way to mess up is a natural one. Oh, I get yeah. I get to add dex to that six. It's part of the yeah. Case. yeah. In that case, I win. Yeah. yeah. It's basically a sleight of hand check with proficiency. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. In that case, I got one. Do you want me to roll for the other? Go one? ahead. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then one more? Yeah. I can't not. It's not it's a one. It's just not a natural one. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. all that really No, matters. that was my point. I wasn't even going to make you check <laughs> You even get a one yeah. key. Don't you get to reroll those? Yeah, because he's a halfling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you but yeah, so it's literally impossible for him to mess that up. Well, I don't want to yeah. waste my luck if I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yours is a racial trait, so it's not wasted, is it? Or do you only it's get like one for twenty? Once per day. Um, yeah. Rest, yeah. Okay. Er, um, not three. Right. That's so gotcha. the long rest. The two yeah. strongest ones don't look very strong. They probably haven't eaten or drank in days. <laughs> they're all exhausted, um, and they're barely moving, but they're trying their best. I forgot to mention that I was they... going to split up a couple of my rations for the kids. Yeah. Okay. I forgot to mention that, but I did plan on it earlier. Would, yeah. would the even the strongest of the, the them be able to carry one or two of the guys that are like... Uh, they're like... Uh, nobody's passed out, but some are a little worse for wear. So yes. they've done that thing where they've taken like the hooked arms and they've taken one and put it over their neck so they can mm -hmm. move that's, them. that's all I was looking for. I'm going to help... Yeah as well. Could just stand them up at um, least. There's only oh, three there now, that too? are having problems. Yeah, I'm right next to you guys. Oh, uh, got a sword. Mm. But two of the others have taken two of them, and there's one that's still having trouble. Um, the other two have interpreted why you're releasing their arms and are like reaching for a weapon that Ramsey has. If they can't hold the swords, I'll give them daggers. I've got two daggers, one for each of them. That'll work. Oh, yeah. um, Okay. You... No, I'll leave the swords. Whatever. This yeah. Idea. Um, I'm gonna carry that one like guy that was struggling. Yeah. He's very light right now. Very, a lot That's of malnutrition. I'll just throw him over my shoulder. We're good. Yeah. I uh, before we leave, these people are uh, dying, and we're about to travel. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna go and split up my remaining rations and water skin, and very quickly pass out everything that I can, giving the most to the three that are unlocked and might fight with us. Okay. Um, <coughs> so I don't want them You dying. see them down the water real quick, but they opt not to eat. Um, I'm gonna inside check that if you want. <clears throat> sure. The eating takes a while. Mm, uh, you can, I can do other things oh, while so. doing. 
Uh, that's high. Uh, insight, insight, insight. That's a non-nat 20. Um, they probably haven't eaten in so long, they feel like if they eat right now, they'd, they'd get sick. Exactly, yeah. Gotta do it with pace. Which, that makes sense. if you're ever actually starving, you haven't eaten for a few days, that will happen. Yeah, you start small. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the way, they all ace their survival checks, so. Woo! Let's go, yeah. guys. Um, they look go. keen Just live. to leave, though. Exactly. They don't want to yeah. fight. They look keen to book it. Uh, I'm gonna try and just basically be leading them to Push where the out the cage go. Yeah, out the yeah. cage. There's the rope. Go and then. Uh, uh, actually, the ropes have been up. pulled up, but you guys are at the entrance, so you I was gonna know say, yeah. if you bowl out the entrance and take a hard right, you'll end up that's, where you guys made the plan. Yeah, that's where Sriracha came from. So. Yeah, okay. As we're running, I'd like to. No, it's not. Even, it's not worth it. I will take the lead then. I will take the lead and lead the people. I, uh... Rid, make a dex check. Okay. Or a save, I guess. Dex save. Uh, One of the kids falls on you. It's not phenomenal. <laughs> it's off a natural 8. So that's... 14. Okay. It's still enough. Um, all of a sudden, Sriracha's armor comes clattering down through the branches. <laughs> of course it does. Give me more reason to hate this person. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I am out of the way of it, and instinctively, like, mom arm all the kids mm. from it, too. Yeah, it my weapon and shield are there, too. Good. Nice. All right, that would have sucked ass. But yeah. Jumper does not stay around. She leaves. So. Good riddance. Says That's Red. fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> while I see them, uh, if, if they're running up right now, mm -hmm. um, do I see that any of the people they're with are visibly injured or are they just like uh and, they're and they're just happy. weak they are they're not wounded they're just they haven't been fed they've been working hard labor um they're mostly exhausted i'm guessing okay. Leos would leosin look physically leosin is fucked yeah okay oh okay yeah, yeah 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 okay. is that it's be like taking care of him like right in front of you like hey yeah that's my bad he's been <laughs> with us right Ace. that's totally yeah. my bad <laughs> um, no, it's um fine. I didn't really say anything. I've just been like too basically like worrying about him. I guess I wouldn't yeah, tell that you would yeah, be able to. If you want to save some of your oh. bigger heels, I can use lay on hands. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say. I, I mean, I don't have any like big heels per se, but I was. I know you got gonna... some like AOEs and stuff though. Save your spell slots. Yeah. I think is probably better for this. I can use lay on hands on him real quick and then. Heels Rin wouldn't heal. know that. He's gonna cast healing word on the monk because <laughs> he has no idea that the power is there actually. right now. Yeah. Healing, uh, healing word is an AOE too, right? Uh, actually, it's just single target. Damaged. There's mass okay, healing word. Right. I'm not damaged yeah. anymore. Mass yeah. healing word, that's what I was thinking. Uh, he gets... So I want to say... Oh, yeah, that's good. 11 health back. Okay. Yay. Um, he stirs a little bit. Uh, seems like he coughs up some blood, but it's not fresh blood. It's like old blood he gets out of his lungs. Um, okay. He's still out cold, okay. but he'll that's make fine. it. Perfect. Okay. Not, not within an edge of the Stabilize! No. No. Oh, cool. no dust saves for him. Okay, perfect. It's like he's been doing this the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've been just sitting there, like, looking over your friend this entire time. and not Well, I mean, you're, like, tending to the kids, which makes yeah, sense. I was trying. Um, and then you're just like, oh, shit. Yeah, oh, my bad. Here, yeah, you probably, like, see me, like, yeah. worrying, and you're like, what is he worrying about? Oh, yeah. that man's dying. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's fresh blood. No. As I said, yeah, I, I wouldn't know that you'd be able to heal personally. You just look like some sort of minstrel to me. Um, that's fair. Yeah, that'd be kind of scary actually to just see that out of nowhere. Yeah. Okay, everybody. I'll thank you profusely, by the way, for casting some sort of spell. Oh, of course. But and it, it, you basically won't even accept the like thanks. Bow. It was such an obligation mm -hmm. at that point that yeah. it's not a not a concern. Friends a war hero now. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's just. <laughs> He's trying to do whatever he can. Yeah, we take off into the forest. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll, sling, the I'll sling him over my shoulder and I would like to my master away. Don my armor. And actually, that takes like 10 minutes. I don't know. I want to find out where Jumper. Jumper went somewhere else. No, it's yeah. fine. I'll just. She I'm bam. carrying the dude. Um, I'm going to ask Gorik. Gorik, can you carry my stuff real quick? Hey. And I just. But I can Squire, I mean, carry friend. A lot more. Yeah. It's fine. I can carry a lot more. Um, I think we should uh, we should get going. Yeah, for Why sure. Don't you set off, you know. I'll uh, bring up the rear. Okay. 
on the would we know the way back to town yeah the way that you came yeah, yeah i guess just follow we're following i was gonna say though um, we we're following uh we were following jumper but that was jumper to us around the guards so i True. would try i would i'm just assuming i'm leading i'm just carrying the guy just hauling ass Who's got the best survival out of check? there yeah. huh uh, who's got the best survival check i was about to say somebody make a survival check and you do have advantage because you've been this way before well, I've got uh, plus three. Uh, I have plus can one. Can we all so. make us Yeah, I mean, you all can. Actually. Like, no, it's this way. Nat 20. All I'm right, good. baby. Well, I got a 19. <laughs> 17. Nat 20 trumps everybody. It does. Yeah. yeah. Regardless, this will assure the whole party that you're going the right way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We all point in the same direction. <laughs> all of a sudden, yeah. you guys are like, it's this way, and everybody points at the same time, and you're like, yeah. yep. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> we're all on the same page. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah, and we're just fucking booking it. Yeah. How well is our uh, steps uh, disguised? Uh, they're not disguised incredibly well unless you're bringing up the rear. Um, I he will is. Say... I think, yeah, I think he said he is. So. Uh, Rin, make a will check or a wisdom check. Okay. Will. Oh, that's uh, what I said last time. Yeah. Uh, j feel so just old, a, so. a raw wisdom check. Yeah. Uh, three. Never mind. <laughs> Damn. Oh, After sorry, wisdom. four. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Never, never Makes mind. a difference. Never mind. Okay. I thought I had something and it's gone. <laughs> you are able to kind of cover up the tracks because you're leading up the rear with little cobalt feet, right? Uh, yes, the prince okay. from the cobalt, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of strange to you when the boots kind of like pop out like little claws. I'm uh, I'm also, as I'm going, basically attempting to uh, lay false trails and anything yeah. that I possibly can to make it so that they can't track us. Yep. Okay, you guys just... make it about to the clearing where she ripped the thing out of your head. So it's a good ways off. But everybody so make perception checks. 22. 17. At 20. 15. 15. 14. There is a massive explosion back towards where the camp was. No. Oh, wait. We got all the yeah. people out, right? We got all the people yeah. out. Yeah. All right. Keep going. <laughs> we could deal with that later. These children need rest. We can't go much longer. True. I mean, How my master would need rest, I carry? too. Uh, what's your strike? 18? You could probably carry, like, three people. Okay, I'm carrying the one dude. Can I carry two kids? Two? Uh, you can, I will say, you can match up the adult prisoners to kind of help each other and help them along. You can carry all three of the children. Ren has one of them. I feel that's fine. I can't carry my drum, by the way. Just okay. Yeah. That's awesome, actually. Um, Is it playing? Yeah, that's what I would want to do. It's like, we can't stop. We gotta keep going. Uh, okay, and then I'll, uh, I'm sorry, kids. Uh, I have to do this. Just scoop them up. I let them know it's okay before he goes and, and jumps in. They're like very that. trusting of Rick. They're very yeah. trusting. So we're all probably carrying children. No. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm carrying all three. three. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nathan, we got Leosin, uh, Gork's carrying up the back, and prisoners are kind of leapfrogging and helping each other to continue on. Okay. It's that thing where they're exhausted, but they know safety is in sight, so... Right, right. That last leg of adrenaline. Uh... Yeah. As we're walking, can, mm -hmm. I, can I kind of... Honestly, I can be loud even, just... Uh, jumper! Jump, jumper! She, Anything? Nothing. Okay. I think an she's the check. reason to chime. I was going to say that was... <laughs> spent, Anybody can who I make wants to can make an insight check. Okay, well, I hear him saying jumper. I guess I will. All right. I love Four insight two. checks. Yeah. Oh, 15. No, 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 no. You guys might not I know, even I was going to say it fits perfectly. You said you're yelling, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, five. probably <laughs> pretty well back. Yeah. What were they? I got an eight, so it's all pretty surface level for me. Yeah, yeah. 15. I don't know if Ramsey even is insane checking. I, I don't see any reason. We just need to keep moving. 
Yeah. Gore, were you? Insight? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, Sriracha, that explosion was probably caused by someone. I figured. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just and with, going. And with an inside check of that high, it's uh, very distracting from tracking you guys. Don't Thank you, Chopper, hey. for all your help. <laughs> we're still not slowing down, but... No. Yeah. She's probably not coming back. Okay. Well, like, mm. Jumper just suicided? No, but she's doing her own thing. Yeah. Oh. I, was well, like, I guess we wouldn't know. Like she's she's just doing work answers. elsewhere. That's why she's yeah. not coming back. She's just okay. Doing shit. Yeah. Uh, she follows the cultists. Yeah. She's like. I guess you. Yeah. She's yeah. Could assume that. I need the bad guys. Yeah. Could assume that. Yeah. Um, so is there any like obstacles in the way? Like. Nope. It's just the easy trek that you guys had on the way in. Which cool. takes us, I imagine, most of the the early morning. Probably daylight yeah. by the time. Um, it's going to be about high noon. I was going to say, guys. yeah, we've been up yeah. for 24 hours now, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. We got a bunch of. I think it's time we all crash. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I was Just drop shooting. these children and just. I was going to say, um, with the remaining day, if you guys want to push through, you can make it all the way back to the keep. That's what I was going for. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. We're not stopping out there. Then, yeah. I wouldn't um, see why we would. Trying to trying to tend to these people as much as possible so they can yeah. make the journey. Yeah. Um, they will take water um, whenever you offer it, but none of them are taking food just yet. But a couple of them that have a couple of them that have taken bites have started to vomit and become sick. So right. they've decided not to eat just yet. Yeah, those poor people. Y'all y'all need a PD light. There you go. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, can we fast forward to the keep, or? Yes, you can. Okay. Because you guys, you guys walked this trail already. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys set plenty of a distraction point back at the raid camp to not have any followers, plus you had a one final big distraction. Mm. Oh. Um. Alright, make it back. Uh, are all the people, no, the people wouldn't be back yet. Uh, no, it's only been one day, so the civilians have not returned from out in the woods. Yeah. Um, um, but they should be back probably tomorrow. Okay. Along with hopefully an army or two. Yeah. I mean, you sent the riders off to Burdusk and the other town and Scornable okay. at the same time that you guys left. Mm -hmm. So word has probably gotten to them, and they're probably raising an army. Yeah. So. Okay. Um... I'm going to set the kids down with Rin, and then I'm going to go to your night hill. Okay. Um, you can assume he's probably up in his Ooh, usual Ooh, I would walk. probably don my armor and then go see Governor Nighthill. Okay. I'll drop my ankles. But, um, I was going to say, I'll yeah. head to like the inn with uh, Leosin, just to basically yeah. take care um, of him. Right now they're keeping everyone inside the keep. Yeah. I don't like using those two words. Um, but you know that there's rooms under the stairwell. Okay, perfect. And you perfect. can take him so he can lay down and rest. Yeah. Like, take him to the barracks. And... Yeah. Okay. Um, there's also accolades that will come and help heal him the rest of the way. Perfect. Um, I'll be there for when he wakes up. And then basically they tell you, um, they heal him quite a bit and basically tell you right now he just needs rest and then he'll be fine. Okay. I have things I want to do, but I can't do them this session, I don't think, because... There's not enough time. <laughs> okay. Great. Anybody else doing anything? I'm setting up the drum. It's time, baby. It's drumming time, boys. Uh, Gorek, you doing anything? Okay. Prepping for sleep. <laughs> I was going to say, before I split off from you guys, I'll definitely thank you for helping me obtain my master hmm. and get him back to the keep oh, alive. Please work. Apparently. You, need you guys help. are true heroes in my eyes. Oh. oh. Couldn't have done the, it without your help. The danger's not over yet, my friend. Very true. Very true. Alright, so you're going up to talk to Governor Nighthill. Um, mm -hmm. You can probably assume he's up on the parapet. 
Yep. Yeah. This is probably the first place I'd look if I didn't see him in the floor. Yeah. Um, and I'm um, guessing he's up there. Yes. As you approach him, his his clothes are clean now. They're not covered in blood. He's changed. Um, his arm is still in a sling, and you notice there is a malformation on the shoulder. He probably waited too long to have it healed, and uh, it's probably permanently this way. It's gross. Um, I yeah. Um, go to the <sighs> We got we got everyone. We got him back here. Um, we got uh, Leo Sin Earth like, Ant. As you're uh, talking, he comes to you and like claps your so- shoulder. He's still listening, but he's like. Reuniting. Um, we set a lot of their tents on fire. We killed one, and they have a black half dragon. Do you know anything about her? I don't, but you returned the, the monk friend, so I assume maybe when he regains consciousness, he can tell us more about the inner workings. I hope so. Um, the cultists around the camp seem to be afraid of her. But oh. they weren't afraid of the blue dragon and the witch. Some people rule with love and some with cruelty. Hmm. I just hope she's not stronger than the others. Let us hope. The army should have been notified by now, yes? Yes, we sent riders uh, after you left yesterday. They should be returning soon. Okay. I don't think anyone knew it was us, but Greenness would probably be the first place they looked. After the raid, I assume so. We've taken chances to fortify the keep again, using some of your bounty hunter's ideas. Hmm. That is good. It's quite wise. Is there anything else you need? I think you need a long rest before we continue on. I'm not going to argue with that one, unfortunately. Uh, as I'm leaving, I shoot back at him to get his shoulder checked out. He's gonna laugh and be like, I did. Okay. And then I'm going somewhere to find a long rest. And you guys know where all the barracks are? No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So you're all going down to, I think Bryn's probably staying out with the kids for now until they want to rest up. Yeah, he's just going to stay up until they tuck her out, basically. He's just making sure they're not... Um, They, of course, have already been freaking out trying to find their parents, and the guards have reassured them that they were out in the woods, and they'll be back soon. Um, So he's just keeping them company, basically. I'll uh, I'll show you where to to put your master for some sleep here. We can tend to his wounds as best we can, and you can get some rest. And then taken with barracks. Okay. I'll basically be like, I will not, I'm not going to rest until he wakes, but thank you. Oof. I'll, uh, he'll, like, sit down, like, when you bring him and set him down, he'll, like, sit down, like, in a, and start meditating in a way, so. Ramsey, are you going to bed? No. <laughs> I don't yeah. need sleep. I will have you make a con save, because you guys just did a lot of physical exertion and walking. This man's got to be so tired, man. All the time. He's so tired. He's like, I just don't want to <laughs> sleep. That's an eight. <laughs> Ramsey falls asleep. That's unfortunate. And that's where we're going to call it tonight. What a beautiful <laughs> cliffhanger. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was can I do my sound off real quick? Because I got somebody, actually, you know what? I know. Somebody else do your sign offs first. Salty Captain K everywhere. Also, Salty Captain Chaos in other places. Ew. <laughs> Depends on where you ask. Hey, <laughs> uh, let you have that one. <laughs> uh, I guess I go next. That's probably the extent. Um, Roland uh, playing Ramsey on here and Reynard on uh, Savage D and D, which is. Savage Bears from over there playing our nice NPC. Um, Just an update again. We're going to be at TwitchCon in October. Um, I'm going to be in the D&D area playing 
uh, D&D all day, every day. If you go there and see me, feel free to wave me down. Um, if you know if there's games going on, feel free to pull me in. Um, or yeah, you can shoot me messages on Twitter and things like that, or go on and talk on our Discord if you are going to be there and want to game. I will be gaming. We'll have tons of characters, which leads into our next guy, Skyler, who is going to be helping move character sheets. That's true. I will be. Um, I don't have a fancy online persona like the rest of these guys, so I'm Skyler. Uh, that's my whole sign-off. I play a gray-skinned orphan. He's super cool. I hope you like him. Uh, as far as the rest of the characters go, yeah, I will be helping him make some for uh, TwitchCon and, and other areas, venues that he would like to use them. Uh, but as far as a sign-off goes, I might leave uh, something on the subreddit tonight. I'm not sure if I have anything prepared this time, but I'm going to try to keep up the tradition. Uh, I don't know if anybody can, but if they want to spam that link in chat, that'd be awesome. Cause I have yeah, if anybody's got it. So I, can't. Uh, I could launch it really quick and get it, but it would take me a minute. Uh, that said, uh, nothing crazy to sign off this time. That's me. Um, and I'm Austin, or Doomfish on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to get back into streaming here pretty soon, hopefully. Um, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, hopefully with Kate a little bit, and Savage, as that's turning out. Um, yeah, I play Parsnip and Sriracha. Parsnip in Savage's campaign. Sriracha here, obviously, but... Um, yeah, Savage's campaign is pretty fun. You guys should come check it out on Wednesdays at the same time. Starts at the same time. Uh, I'm Savage Bear TV. Um, you guys can catch me on Savage Bear TV on Twitch and all other social medias. Um, we do play D and D with uh, Kate, Roland, and Austin on uh, on Wednesdays starting at seven. So uh, hope to see you guys there. We will probably be back since uh, we're currently on vacation. We'll probably be back here. <laughs> not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday for sure. So we'll f we'll figure it out. But uh. Guys, feel free to uh, like keep up with Twitter and things like that. That's where I keep all that posted. So, hope to see you guys around and uh, yeah. yeah, throw it I'm, over to Katie. I'm Katie Sue, as always. Katie Sue on Twitch, Katie Sue underscore TW on Twitter, underscore IG on Instagram, and underscore R on Reddit. We also have a Discord that you can find the link to at the bottom of the channel. Uh, feel free to post in there. We have a theory section. We have a just general discussion section about how you guys feel about how the game's going. Um, we also have a shit post section that is run by our our Victor. Um, and a little plug: I have myself a Savage TV T-shirt. Um, awesome. He's got uh, <laughs> he's got a store on his channel, so you have to go there to grab uh, it. Merch. But also a tiny plug for the. The, um, the store itself, they sell really nice uh, fabric t-shirts, so it's a good t-shirt, and it supports a streamer. So, uh, I'm going to throw you guys over to D&D Time. It's a new channel that I started following. Um, they're doing one-offs on Fridays, so you guys don't have to catch up on anything, and it's just a fun time. So, with that, uh, shit, I didn't start the raid, so we're going to have about 30 more yeah. seconds of airtime. Yeah. So. Well, cool. Yeah. Quick question: How many bears are in chat tonight? One. One. Two. At least one. Yeah. Three. <laughs> the T-shirt and the savage bear and the bear behind me. There you go. Oh, how many bears? <laughs> I mean, I am the average height and weight of a black bear. Black bear. Black bear. So. Yeah.